All righty, hey y'all, happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Yes, 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 welcome to our, our ending but first discussion of the year. This is kind of it's the way it falls. So it's the, it's the last book that we've read in 2019, mm -hmm. but it's officially the first time we're meeting in the new year, 2020. 2K20. The Roaring 20s, y'all. The Roaring 20s. Mm -hmm. You got okay. it. All right, so this is, um, again, welcome for everyone that's online. I'm Derek Young. I am one of the owners here at Mahogany Books. This is the Mahogany Books of Very Smart Brothers Book Club mm -hmm. discussion. We're discussing today Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tommy Adeyemi. My partner in crime will be in a little bit later, Panama Jackson. Uh, one of the founders of Very Smart Brothers who will be here a little bit later. Um, and we're just going to jump into it because I've been a little miffed at a number of comments <laughs> that's been made about this book <laughs> by... Not me. Yeah, we know who it is. <laughs> we know. But we're not going to have that discussion right now. Um, so, but it's been interesting. Um, I actually finished this book. This is, I think... Out of all the books we've read so far for our book club, mm -hmm. I finished all of the books that took me up to maybe like the last day or so to finish or get close to finishing. This one, I was done like two weeks ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like I just, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if it's part because it's YA, you know, it's a little bit of a easier yeah. 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 read. Short chapter. Yeah. yeah. But I just, from the very jump, I got into it. And I was off and running, and I really, really um, did enjoy it. It was funny. I think the conversation before we got officially started was was it better than the first one? Mm -hmm. And I was mentioning to a uh, young lady that was in here before, I felt like it had um, more complexity to it mm -hmm. than the first book. At least it was talking about more issues societal issues oh, yeah. than yeah. 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 the first yeah. one. So I now so. so I'm always trying to go back in my head as to what I was taking notes on. So I make sure I have that conversation here today. Yeah. But I felt like it had a little bit more of a grown up conversation. Yeah. And it still had the fun and uh, action of a fantasy epic, but I felt like there was more conversation pieces. So mm -hmm. do we wanna have we normally have a uh, kind of a hot contested controversial conversation about society issues or do you want to talk about the fun stuff first what do you guys want to do fun fun stuff first yes okay so um miss lena said so let's let's go let's let's start with you because <laughs> I, I do want to i do want to get to it but i i'm hoping that you're very wrong like usually we have these conversations you know about what she said something about the main character i got your back thank Don't you i got your back, your back. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want no one to have her back. I want you to be completely wrong on this, <laughs> right? right? So, well, let's 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 we'll start with you. Um, let's see. I, I don't even know how to just go straight into it. So, uh, well, aside from just going straight into it, I think Zaylee's gonna die. <sighs> yeah, she's gonna die. I think so. Um, because like when, when you think about the pressure that's put on her, and I don't even mean like I mean like the actual very little pressure that's put on her heart. When she with the moonstone ceremony, and she's carrying all of these different people and their essence within her. I think that's a great setup for her to end up dead by the end of the third book. No, way. I think she's gonna probably she's gonna have to choose. I think between her life and somebody else's that she's connected to. Mm -hmm. That's my thought. Yeah, especially with this new power that she has. Yeah. Um, it's not gonna it's not gonna go well because it can't be Rowan. It can't be uh, Zane. Um, and I don't even think Mama Agba's sacrifice is going to be enough. Mm. And I think it would be much more interesting if she dies, actually. Because mm. can can she's a reaper. <sighs> My thing is three that because she's a reaper. Three, yeah. Right? Yeah. So for her to die as a reaper, I yeah. think that's actually pretty interesting. And then the fact that she's called the soldier of death, but technically has never killed anybody. Yeah. Right. I don't like this conversation. But also, I think too the, the her new power, right? So, right. like, if she does die, right. her soul is connected to the area of us, so she's technically still living, right. like she's living through people. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I, but I think to end the book properly, she's gonna have to die. Yeah, no, no spin offs, nothing. Like, well, wasn't that a conversation at some point where they're talking about uh, like 
Right. If um, different if people can team up, right? People get yeah. magic. So she, that means she'd also be connected to a healer, right? And the yeah. idea and the idea was at some point that if uh, a, a reaper and a healer got together, then they could mm-hmm. perform resurrections. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But you have to think about the cost. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. And that's that's the that's the case. That's right. True. And that's where what happened with. I mean, I guess we're just going into the book yeah, with yeah. Mama Agba's sacrifice. Yeah. You know, um, it's, I don't think it's going to be enough, especially if you're just going to fight someone as powerful as uh, Nihonda. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, the Tetons, like, the, the, the comparison, the power comparison, it, it, well, there isn't one really. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, we remember the fight between Ramaya and uh, uh, Amari. Amari. Yeah. Right? yeah. And, like, yeah. Ramaya was doing great for five seconds. <laughs> Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Amari. strike Amari, yeah. <laughs> and then that was it. Yeah, <laughs> you know that was that was the long and short of it. Um, yeah, I think uh, daily. Okay, that. so here's my thing with that. that. Yeah, I don't like that. I understand why. Yeah, but sometimes I just want a book to be a book and to have a sort of happy ending to it. Yeah, right. I think. Yeah. Sometimes I just need to have that. Like I understand that. <laughs> You know the rip. No, it's young. Don't be sad. I am sad already. I'm already. I'm like. I'm going to do a petition to Tony (laughs) starting right, starting tomorrow. Not right. To to keep her alive, just in case. It's it's a YA. I I can't imagine killing the villain. I mean her. So, so it, it happened. happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. All the time. Happened. Think about the impetus of oh. the book. No, she did. Yeah. Remember, Ben? They thought she was gone, Benty, but she came yeah, back. Yeah, she came back. I don't know, young y'all, why, why, where the the protagonist dies. I do. Yeah. Who? Which one? So there was Orleans by Sherry L. Smith. You remember that one? Like that was that came out in two thousand thirteen, I think, and that was like took place in like a futuristic dystopian uh, New Orleans like after um, all of the hurricanes and there was like this blood disease and there was a young girl who had survived the the, Is she the blood protagonist? Disease. yeah she's the main character and she gets the baby across the wall and she gets shot and that's the end of the book mm. mm-hmm. yeah oh, I don't want to read that one Oh, it, it was great though. <laughs> it's good. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. I know grown folks' books. Let's say hungry. like, uh, I'm not grown folks' books. But y'all know what I mean. Yeah, the protagonist. She, but, she but no, it. she made it. Did she? Yeah. So actually, I, I'm glad that came up. So for everyone, please understand this is a spoiler zone, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to be putting yeah, out, yeah, uh-huh. out there. So just, I want no one any hard feelings, okay? We're going to <laughs> right to it. All right. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I think sometimes, I don't know, so we don't know if it's going to happen, but I think um, it's, <laughs> you. But it is bittersweet, like, yeah. but like, you don't. You have a connection like now. A, yeah. There, there, yeah. There's a real connection, whether you. And, yeah. Ugh. Whether you, whether you have a, um, no, that's not what I mean. From what you witness or go through, whether you like her completely as a character, right. like some of the decisions or like attitudes or whatever mm-hmm. can be kind of off putting somewhat. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you doing that? Just like go on. Mm-hmm. But, you know, what she's what she represents in terms of, you know, the complete sacrifice that she's making, yeah. even with some of the immaturity things that she kind of that she shows. And you do have to remember that she is like a teen. I think she's what, 18 or 17, 18. 17, 18. 17, 18. 17. Yeah. yeah, like so. You know, you just don't want to see that, right? Yeah. Especially taking into consideration that she is that young. Yeah. You know, you want to see her actually kind of, yeah. after all this that she's going through yeah. at the end of the day, um, she has she's dealt with a lot of heartache. Yeah, I mean, she's she lost has. her mom, her pops. Now she's lost. All um, people, too. Right. Uh, her mama mm-hmm. Agba. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so. Mama Agba about dying this one, too? Oh, yeah, she yeah, yeah, she does. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. She's you're, all, you're close to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No one going to make me not read it. Yeah, yeah. 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 She sacrificed yeah. herself. But you know what I was thinking? When you said uh, like a hero or like a protagonist died, it depends on how they, how the writer allows a person to die. 
Like, has anyone gotten to the end of Son of Solomon? Tony Morris. No. Don't, mm-hmm. don't spoil that one. I'm in the Yeah, I've not read it. Like, that one really can't do any spoilers on. Talk about it. Oh, it's yeah. been out 30 years. God no spoilers, but the very last line, she says, if you no, surrender no, no, no. to the air, you can ride. You know, it's a red line. You heard me. If you surrender to the air, you can ride. No, I, I think. You know, it depends on how, because she, both the protagonist dies, and it's not a tragic death. If you believe that if your name is noted down, it never dies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fine. All right. So. I can't believe. Yeah, the book went out 30 years. No. That's yeah, okay. Not, not really. 50 years. Um, so, oh, I'm, right. so I'm I'll sure. say. I really I did enjoy this book. Me too. I liked too. the um it was fun. I felt like she really kind of um provided uh she did a great job of to me, and I, I might be reading more into it than anyone else, of a fun, again, epic book along with some conversations on power. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes, so I yes. think the fa- I was not ready. And I remember when I first, when I read the uh, back of it, when I first sent the uh, advanced copy, and we were preparing for the event, mm-hmm. and I realized that, oh, people, other people are going to get powers too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And that is, what does yeah. that mean? Right, what does that mean? And that was, so, I was like, it, it got me even more amped up to read the book. Yeah. Because now you're fighting, you're trying to save people with power, mm-hmm. and people with power are now trying to continue to subjugate you. Yes. yes. Like, yeah. so the way that she threaded the needle of having fun, having yes. your adventure book, yeah. but then for, you know, a young reader to come back and maybe read it a second time mm-hmm. later in life, I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. Like, then you could, there's, you just play on different levels. So I really, really yeah. um, enjoyed, enjoyed that. Because I was thinking about, that just threw me, because I don't like to read about books before I read them. So when, she got the power back, and it, okay, the, everybody, you can't control who gets the power, mm-hmm. not you to brought it back. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking, you know how uh, black folks, we won't, I believe in reparations, mm-hmm. There's, right? So then, how do we know when we get the reparations, people will use who it? Gonna, or power. who gonna get it? Because right. mm-hmm. think about it, somebody can say, my great, great granddaddy, 500 years ago, and I can prove it, mm-hmm. was black. Okay, now they get it. Then what do they do with the, with the people that we don't want to get the reparations? What what are they going to do with it? Are they going to use it to right. Right. to be more to, yeah. to hold folks down more? Let's just say it's tax breaks. I would love mm-hmm. us all not to pay taxes ever again, right? <laughs> so then the people already got money. They can prove their great granddaddy was black five hundred years ago. And they already in power. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So what does everybody the Senate can prove somebody in their family black? Mm-hmm. What's his name? Mitch McConnell. Mm-hmm. His, oh, right? Not proved. We'd be like, damn. <laughs> oh, Think right. about what he would do with more money. Mm-hmm. He's a devil with that. I mean. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that's a good reason for all of us to get nothing. No, no, no. no. I still think we should get. I'm just saying it's a danger that when you release power or whatever it is, you don't have any control over who get it, kind of. And when she released the power, mm-hmm. people with power got it. Remember the brother? Yeah. Well, he already had, he had it. it. Yeah. Saying, but yeah. he had been hiding it all along, and then the people, the other people, didn't. She released it in there. It wasn't yeah. something they knew they had. They didn't yeah. know they had. It's newly right. It's newly found, newly discovered, not something used. So I get what you're saying from the perspective of like, yes, I'm releasing this for everyone to use, but once you have it, what are you going to do? With Especially it? when you're not expecting to get it. Like mm-hmm. you don't know you got it. Now it's awakening, and you like. And my thing I thought was really interesting, and this might be diving too too, too uh, deep too quickly, is how are you going to differentiate? Like, there was this automatic differentiation. Mm-hmm. It wasn't all of a sudden, oh, we all have powers. We're all magi, mm-hmm. right. right? It wasn't a unification. You would think that getting the powers mm-hmm. could be a source of unification, right? Mm-hmm. And it could be a source of... Um, Humanizing, right? Other right. folks. It, that could have been a reason to unify and mm-hmm. to humanize and to have a, have more empathy with the magi. It wasn't. Mm-hmm. They were like, no, nope, no. Yeah, and I that was the part that was yeah. weird to me mm-hmm. for them to continually talk prior to about how evil magic is, how yeah. horrible it is, and I'm like, but you are fully using it right now. Like yeah, Honda is standing right in it. Like Literally. I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna kill everyone with it. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like, but you just said this thing for the longest. But it's evil so when horrible. you have it, right? But when we have it, right. it's good, right? And still calling them maggots, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but not not self identifying. I'm not right. I'm, I'm, I'm not that. Right. I'm, not that. I'm not that. So I think that's when it was um, to me like sometimes when we have a conversation about race. Sometimes I think mm-hmm. it does need to be pulled out 
of that context, just talk about it from a perspective of power. Mm-hmm. Right. Because mm-hmm. right? that's because you know when you really yeah. get down to the bottom line, is what it's really all about. Yeah. Yeah. It's about power. Yeah. You know, and however we need to, whatever we need to use to um, identify people with power from people without power, yeah. we'll figure that out. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it really comes down to power mm-hmm. because I want to keep it. Yep. Mm-hmm. I want to make yeah. sure that my family has it yeah. and that my legacy continues to be in power yeah. and people who don't have it. Um, or I, you know, aren't able to challenge me and my family mm-hmm. yeah. to to take power for themselves. Yeah. So when when that happened, and I started, and I was reading it in the book, I was like, wow, this is really um, interesting because now it's not just a sci-fi novel about quote unquote race. Right. It's a really a conversation on power. on power and mm-hmm. how yeah. do we as people, mm-hmm. you know, like I said, I, somehow you're a maggot, but I'm not. Right. And we're using the same. I'm using the same thing to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you're yeah. scared of me yeah. about, right? Yeah. But and I'm tearing down buildings and right, creating right, whatever. Right. So like they have it was a different magic. Like oh, you have magic, but not right. the same magic as me. Yeah. Your magic is tainted. Yeah. Right. It's like what? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You can't use our intent and can taint it. Like it sounds foreign for me. You can't right. do it. And I'm like right. that. Also comes to the aspect of thinking about knowledge. Right. Some mm-hmm. people grew up understanding their history and saying their culture and saying their power and authority they have themselves yeah. and some people didn't and they're just now coming to that realization yeah. and all of a sudden like oh no you're you're not really woke woke mm-hmm. yeah. you're just over there mm-hmm. like you just learned this really right? right yeah right. i've been you doing know? this right, right. i've been in the struggle and the fight right. Right. right and so that even that separation that one blew me i was like really y'all uh, yeah, <laughs> and that goes to the idea of wanting to understand. So mm-hmm. it's like now I've been, you know, made aware that I do have this in me, and I now know my history, and I'm asking you about it because you've known your history. Mm-hmm. Long. You're like, well, no, I don't want you to know your history. But at the same time that you tell me you don't want me to know my history, you're like, how come you don't know who you are? Right. You don't know what to do. Has, <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, I, you know, I had a lot of. There's, there's so many times that um, Armani made me cringe. Like throughout oh, the yeah. I was like, ah, I was like, come on. We were rooting for you. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, you had to like basically kill your father, hurt your father to, for him to not kill your brother because he was a magi. And then you're sitting here talking about, well, I know Inan would never do this. That can't be his intent. And I guess some, and, and yeah, talk, how can I defeat her mom and all these things? And I guess for me, I, one of the things that made me wonder. I was like, oh, is she supposed to be like a white liberal? Mm. Mm. Did you say that? Mm. Yeah. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like, is Armani a white liberal? Why would you say that? Why, why would you say that? Oh. Oh, you want to go ahead? Go okay, ahead. So, <laughs> so it was very different. We had a conversation <laughs> yeah. with the last book yeah, yeah. about um, Corin. Yeah. Corinne, yeah. how you say yeah. her name from yeah. Donnie's. White liberal. Oh. So mm-hmm. her language, right? Yeah. So, so mm-hmm. man, I really wish, you know, we had to figure out a way to have this conversation with Tony. Right, because I would yeah. love to find out her insight. Yeah. But her language, the way she would say, I can help. Yes. Mm-hmm. If they just follow me. me. Right. It was all about her, her and what she it out would do. Yeah. yeah. What she could do versus yeah. the collective. And right. she was right. even like, I've been here with you fighting for you. Right. Yeah, like, right. how do you separate us? Like, like and one time she did say our, and they were like, our? Exactly. Because if they were shot, like you said, our. Yeah, and to me, that was part of the thing about the difference between, was it Titans, right? Yeah. The Titans mm-hmm. and Titans. the Magi. Mm-hmm. The Magi and how, I think it was Zelly at one point, told her, this is not about power. Right. This is about our culture. This mm-hmm. is about our history. I mean, granted, there's powers, you know, that come with it, but it's not because of, it's not just because all of a sudden, we've got this cool power. Right? Mm-hmm. It's because like our parents were murdered because of this. Our mm-hmm. grandparents. Yeah. There's all this genocide. There's all this history. We can barely keep Yoruba. And how you coming in talking about? Oh, can you teach me this incantation so I can, so I can be out front and convince my mm-hmm. brother to show him? Like, mm-hmm. I was like. And I was, right, I also think that comes into <laughs> with the idea of trauma. How that kind of plays into that, yeah, right? Absolutely. So like. For the Magi, their trauma, it, it kind of encourages them to keep, like, we have to keep this. Yeah. For Armani, her trauma is like, she doesn't even understand how it's impacting her decisions. Right. Right? She's still blindly going off of, like, oh, my brother is this, my brother, like, this he wouldn't do this. Right. Hey, guys. Oh. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm completely optimistic 99% of the time. Mm-hmm. That's probably a flaw. 
So I'm I'm believing in the brother. Like when you when when she so on his yeah. Oh, I'm Please pray him out of me if I got it. No, this is my son. You you're optimistic about Inan. I mean, I can tell that he always cared, but they were just stupid. Like the whole when they when um Amari met up with Inan at the sanctuary. I was like, that was the stupidest thing you could have done. Why? Because. because even though Inan has a good heart, like you know, people are following him. You know, like his general is not gonna let that go. Well, like, he was trying to sneak out. Yeah, but to he, the he, king. So is that, yeah, you're, sneak, yeah, you're not gonna be able to do that. King, like, you know what? Uh, okay, so this is this, that's, that's okay. That's where the, the silliness. Okay, he's a he, he became the king and and wasn't expected because he's young, right? Mm-hmm. So he's like sixteen at that time, seventeen, and I, I don't think like he didn't realize like. Um, I just think that he really was like he. I think he loved her, mm-hmm. Zelly. Mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. I think that he, uh, when he was in in book one, mm-hmm. I think he really loved her, whatever. But and he thought, oh my God, if we bring back magic, I'm gonna bring our countries together, right? Mm-hmm. And then it made me think about like a President Obama, for mm-hmm. instance. You know how you? He was like, oh hope. I'm a, I'm gonna like I'm gonna be with yeah, idealism. Yeah, yeah. Then when you get into yeah. it, you realize this country got so many policies yeah. and so many things that are set in stone for hundreds of years that you can't undo some of that stuff. So you're trying to manipulate the system that really is already a corrupt system. So you alone ain't gonna change it. It's gonna take a lot of work. So I, that's how I saw the brother like. Mm-hmm. He had a good heart, but then he got caught up and he kept hearing his daddy in the mind saying, yeah. you know how you're like, you're trying to break away from even us, your upbringing and what yeah. people say, but yeah. it's, it's right in your house, you said in college, I want to stay out till like to the morning. I used to hear my daddy say, you can't stay out like, I guess in your brain, you're yeah. trying to break that, you all over the place trying, especially when you're young. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to break I mean, I what you've been live, trying to do. I like kind of operate in a perspective when I'm like in work and like there's like, Micro aggressions and things like mm-hmm. that. I'm always like, well, it's okay because once this older generation, like, you know, I hear, I hear people say, <laughs> people say that. I do hear people say yeah. that. You know, like, I, this won't be like a thing anymore because yes, the, 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 but this is what I, this is what I tell myself. Right? Oh. This is what I'm telling you that <laughs> oh, in that your, idea, right, right yes. in that idea, oh, telling I'm myself, you. right, when they all die away. All of this, whatever, like it's that same thing. Like we can't believe you can't believe in Inan for that exact reason. Mm. That I can sit here and say in this one moment, I'm not gonna get mad at you right now because eventually you'll die and you're thinking this. But, but, but then, like, like now, I'm at the point now, guys, in the book where he's like uh, <laughs> the part in the book where he's saying um, he realized the mama caused the whole thing mm. and he goes, he go, he get into his sister where they go into they can be together. And he's like, I give up. Mm-hmm. I, I I get it. Mama, Mama caused all this. That's where I am. That's where Prince. So I'm believing in him, y'all. I want I want him to be a good guy. I think he's a good guy, and his intentions are good. Yeah. But he still he has trash tendencies. What you mean? <laughs> like he, he has a lot of. Trash. I hear you. He has I trash. You, on you that. like what? What's like I think I think his. I don't know if he actually loves out. I think he had a deep lust for her. Yeah. I think That's she right. She made him feel something different and kind of accepting a part of him that he didn't know was there. Mm. But he didn't love because you can't love somebody and do the things that he did. Like what? The in the on the first book, mm-hmm. right? Like, oh, I didn't think they're gonna kill your father. Man, what you think? Like you yeah. think you, you think your dad, who made you fight your sister, sister right. at a very young age, yeah. is gonna like and hurt your sister and hurt your sister. sister. Not just fight for play play. Like no, yeah. no, yeah. yeah. right. Right now, it's cool. Let let her have the thing that she wants. I got issues, y'all. No, <laughs> but I thought so, it was. But I also feel like as king, if you really had great intentions, like you. You are supposed to have power, so we talk in a, a place of power structure. How dare you have so much power and not say, "Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and lock my mom up or banish mm. my mom"? Because I, I just don't understand. That. So, so, so right if now, if you're really I'm trying sure. to make quote unquote change, because you clearly see that your mom has said problems. So, At least on the third round, you saw your mom was okay. So you, okay, when you said about the day, not first time, maybe not shoot. second, but third. Yes, you knew. Oh my god. So. Guys, yeah, yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got issues. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, no, no. no I'm, listen, because I'm thinking like now, okay, you see how uh, Trump rate uh, killed a man. In oh, Africa. Wait, 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 wait. So in my brain, I've been seeing all these tweets, people like, well, you know, tweets that he did said Barack Obama was going to go to a right. war, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. So, <laughs> pray for me, y'all. I just, <laughs> I just don't want to believe that this man want to take us to war. 
I don't want to believe it, even though. Oh, so, so, oh, so, 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 I want to believe it. I want to believe that in the end of the day. So, what do you want to believe? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just like, really? I'm like, I really want to believe that somebody, like, now you know he's not reading it in. So, somebody had to tell him about what a man was in the plane. He didn't know. Somebody's advising him on that situation. The, right. the white, somebody has it because he ain't. How would you know what's going on in right. Iraq? Whatever, right? right? So somebody's advising him. So I'm thinking in this situation, he's going with what somebody is telling him mm-hmm. because he don't know what's going on in that country. You think, but he's not getting like intelligence that. briefing. He don't know. Even like this man name, he probably even know who this is. But somebody's like, listen, he's he been he plotting to get us to just right. department somebody, and he's like, okay, but to attack him. Because he's emotional and he don't believe the CIA sometimes, but sometimes I do. So he like attack them. Now and then they're like, well now now that he's attacked, they're like, well you know they're gonna get us back. He's like, okay, well then that says some soldiers. Somebody has to be advising him because I don't think he's wise well, enough so, to, to do it. You see what so, I'm saying? So I so I, I think you're right, and I think what my issue with um, Anon is, and I think what I keep reminding myself, and you ladies said it earlier, is that they're young. They yeah. Is yeah. that. Someone does want to go to war. Someone yeah. does want power. Somebody does. In those situations, right? Yes. Trump. And somebody you know, in, in this him. book, uh-huh. but it also requires someone to be naive enough in power right. to allow right. themselves to be. Not, not just not. And I don't know if allow is the right word. Enough. No, but I. But, think, but that's what I'm saying. For to me, you're not. Sorry, not, sorry but quick, uh, just a quick yeah. nuance is I think in one way it highlights for me the difference between authority and power. Come on, high five. Yeah. Right. So, Anand, so Anand is sitting there. He's like, "I'm the king. I'm wearing my daddy's clothes. I get to tell people where to go." Right. But these clothes really don't fit me. Right. 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 And yeah. I think that, that metaphorically, right. right. And the general, he can tell the general where to go and what to do. Okay. Right. Yeah. And like, but she ain't doing what he says. She. Every, everybody looking at his mama like number because, one. Number one because I think historically that's been the power structure. Right. And number two because at the end of the day, she can quake the earth, y'all. She can split stuff open she can suck power from the rest mm-hmm. of y'all yep. i mean at the end and of the day did. like basically like everybody has to bow down to her even if they can't do it you know overtly right in my mind anon has authority he does have some power but yes. he, but the way he wields it i'm not even sure because of his age and his experience I think upbringing, age, I think it was that sick. he doesn't even know really how to how to wield that yet i mean no. truthfully, when have anon and Armani ever been actual independent people? Never. Have they ever had any experience of that? So then, no, that's what I'm saying. I think because it was unexpected for him to become king, right? He right. Come no, I don't get that. I don't get that. Like, I just think he don't. He, yeah, he's not he got it. It's like me all of a sudden becoming the president of the United States. But no, the thing is, though, we forgot he's a he's, governor of Virginia. He's a I'm prince. Like, what the heck you so from the jump, he is trained and conditioned yeah. to take his father's spot. But I'm saying, but remember, he didn't know all the ins no, and outs. No, as a, he didn't as know a about mama, true. but he don't know the ins and outs. Well, because the mama didn't want to But as wants. right as a prince, though, as his authority, like as his position in life, yeah. he is trained to groom. take He's and groom. He's, He's supposed, supposed to be, be trained and groom to take his father's spot at any time that the father dies. That's yeah. how royals monarchies right, work, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So he should have been trained. Now his mom on some sneaky stuff, who also has trash tendencies, yeah, has been yeah, kind of taking like right, yeah. taking that way that authority and that power right. and hoarding it to herself and manipulating her ways into getting that. T- that's why yeah, she so. has the power, although Inan has the authority, right? Mm-hmm. Right, and so I think kind of having that nuance. I'm really glad you said that too. Like having the separation, that nuance. Like sometimes yeah. you can be in a position of power. But you have no authority. You yeah. can't. Nothing happens when you exert your power. Right. Or you do the opposite. So I don't want to give him that excuse of like, oh well, he didn't know or no, he was groomed to know. And uh, right. number one, yeah. and number two, but you I groomed think, to know, but you don't know. Like he don't know about mama to but the but book one. He went on two. full adventure for book one yes. to yeah. actually go out, find Zelly, yeah. and bring yeah. her back, and all those things. Yeah. So he was, even though you were groomed, right? That yeah. just means like, okay, you read the books, let's do it in the house, mm-hmm. go to the back downstairs, fight mm-hmm. your sister, whatever, whatever. You spent all the book one actually going out and doing it. So yeah. you knew what war yeah. and yeah. adventure, all that. You left and, and, and I think some of it is him not uh, him not understanding that within himself yet, right? Mm-hmm. And to me, yeah. a, a wake-up call was when they killed Baba. Mm-hmm. If he supposedly keeps telling these soldiers not to do stuff, and they're doing it anyway, like right. at what point do you say, wait a second? What I seem to say, I'm bas- to me, he basically just, he's a symbol. 
Yes. Right? Because even every time he goes out to help Zelly or anybody else, his mom is like, oh, save the king, save the king. How many times do we have to get a healer to help you? Blah, 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 That's blah, blah. to kill her. Right? But, but, <laughs> but at the end of the day, she's like, put, take him to the back, you know, for his safety. Oh, no, she but, she co- but she coming right in. Sorry, it's too much spider man. She coming right in. <laughs> 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 But I think she knew. She knew from the jump. She knew she had uh, she had power. She knew she came online. She because she knew what to do with it way too fast. Like she knew. Yeah. She knew. That's what I mean. Yeah, she what's going on? What I mean. Yeah, how did she like, break a whole building down? Like, how did she? And maybe I, I just haven't got. How did she become a center? Right of all of all the people right. in, a mom, Arisha, no, in Arisha. Yeah. Oh, she probably was already. She was. She was. And her great grandmother was. So she was, she was she you think she was a magi? <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, she, I, no. She was a t- she must have she was a tea time. Right? Yeah. She was a tea and the time. ones who can steal the you know right. who can steal the power who can steal the power from. For you to become a censor, you had to have sacrificed someone that you love. So mm. that's how I was like, who did she sacrifice? How did she become a censor? How did she become a censor? Because Amari was her dad. Yeah. But they never who went was, and talked about the wife. You think it was the family? You think it was his first family? Maybe she, he, mm. she helped Ooh. organize the burning? The burning of the palace? Oh. His first oh. family? Has she been dying her hair ever Is since? It? Oh! oh. 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 You think that's a That's a backstory. That's a backstory. Oh, that should be a backstory. That's yeah. So that's probably gonna be in book three. Is she does she live to, in the in this book? Yeah. She is yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Wait, to go back to Enoch. There was this part because I think this is where the whole power struggle starts in the beginning. It's when Enoch comes to power, he's like, We're gonna give everybody rations. He like yes. tries to make peace. Yeah. And then what happens? They come, and you they know, Zelda doesn't, yeah. doesn't believe him. They come and they burn down all the rations. Well, now you're going to put me in a position to come fight you because yeah. I tried to make. So that to me is where all the power struggle happens. And I feel like that happens a lot in our society where it's like people extend the olive, olive branch, mm-hmm. people are mistrustful of the olive branch, mm-hmm. and they go attack, and then it's just all this re- retaliation. And it's. That's cool. yeah. So yes. that's, why I, that's why I was hurt because it just seemed like. Yeah. If this could have all been solved, have y'all just taken the food? <laughs> well, I mean, but, but I, 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 I also I, understand I why Zelly. I understand why Zelly and them didn't. Because you just right. killed my father. Of course, yeah. I'm not going to believe anything that you said. Yeah. But I also, you know, it was just frustrating. It but, was hurtful to see because I see that I also in our community. It's like people try and do something good. Yeah. We don't accept it as that. Mm-hmm. And then this, you know, we can never reach the main point, which is unity. And like mm-hmm. the most important thing that we have as a community. So I don't know, those are things I was pulling from that. But yeah. you tell me, I'm okay. sorry, were you thinking mostly like internal to the black and African diasporic experience or just like globally? I mean, I would think, up? yeah, make, cause I, at least for when I, so I'm Haitian, I was doing, um, I read this book about Haitian history like two years ago, and what made me sad, what I realized is that power corrupts. The Haitian yeah, people yeah. fought for 10 years against the French. Mm-hmm. And then once they fought for freedom, what did they do? The Haitians started infighting. And the, um, Henry Christophe went ahead and enslaved Haitian people to build a castle. And it's like, because what he wanted was power. They broke Haiti in half. They had the the free slaves, the mulattoes in the south, and then you had the the slave, the Henry Christophe in the north. Hen- the the free mulattoes. That's the reason why Haiti paid reparations to France because they signed off on that. So it was like, ah, oh, like this. You know, I'm pulling all these things, these parallels. I'm like, this is what makes it so sick. Mm-hmm. It makes it so like that's why power corrupts. Like it corrupts. Mm-hmm. It's, there's so much distrust. Like I, it's just it's just so complicated. It's such a sticky thing that it's a it's it's, it's, it's a people thing. Right? Yeah, and, and I think it comes key. back outside. You know, again, if if, if we remove if we remove gender yeah. mm-hmm. or color, mm-hmm. religion, ethnicity from it, right. you know, you still come back to human nature. Yeah. Is yeah. in most in most situations is self serving because mm-hmm. we're looking at to. Uh, to preserve ourselves, yeah. ourselves yeah. survive, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know, in some most cases, our lineage, mm-hmm. our direct lineage. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. how we most most times look at it, right? So, mm-hmm. in those situations, how do I consolidate power for myself yeah. so that I can take care of my family? Mm-hmm. That's what the mom is um, really all about. She's mm-hmm. 
being manipulative. And I think, you know, you made a good point about uh, Inan not being, not having agency on his own mm -hmm. because he's in a position of authority and his mom is, oh, baby, be, do, 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 being a mama's boy, mm -hmm. but not really. Um, but when he makes a decision too contrary to what she thinks mm -hmm. is in the best interest of what she sees for her family and her lineage, right. then she steps in yeah. and... Yeah. And then not her real power. Literally. literally. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. But I think right. we, see, we see that too in the family structure sometimes is that when we have young adults who are trying to be young adults yeah. and trying to, you know, kind of feel, and not feel themselves, sounds bad, but like, you know, exert their own power. Yeah, yeah grow yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes as parents, folks come in and oh, kind of yeah. utter cut and like, no, you don't want to do that and no, you shouldn't do that. It's yeah. like, I'm trying to grow up, but I can't because yeah. I've got to listen to your rules. No, I'm really always good. your child. I'm like, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, you're always my parent. And so it's kind of like, how do we balance, how do we show respect, but also support the autonomy and the growing up of a child? Mm -hmm. yes. but, but, but so, so yeah. that's why I can't really um, give Inan any slack because at some point you have to make a decision that yeah. is completely based on your own, even when you mess up. Yeah. Right. So even like I said, he he attempted to put out an olive branch, mm -hmm. and it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you had to expect that it might not work out because, dude, you just like yeah. a, a month and a half ago, a month ago, a month ago, it might have been a few weeks. Can we like clarify? Can we clarify his olive branch? Because my understanding of it was. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give food to every person who comes to our side to yeah. so go back and kill right. your family. Yeah. Yes. Is that truly an olive branch when you're telling me to morally say, I need you to go back and kill your sister? <laughs> yeah. It's a Republican olive branch. So. It's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's acculturation. Like, it, it's, I mean, I just don't feel right about that. I still okay. don't give See, not I, I, even I that piece. That. I, I can't realize he's not going to go kill somebody. I thought yeah. he yeah. was going to get very He was basically yeah. saying those who come willingly, we will feed them, and the right. rest of them that don't come, right. we're coming for them. Right. right. Yeah. So come fight for our army. We will yeah. feed you as long as you come fight oh, for our army. So in some cases, I understand that, right? Because I go front. Like, you know, community, hey, if we're building... Yeah. We're employing people. We're doing what we're supposed to do, and you still want to be out there being a sucker and messing up stuff, mm -hmm. yes. right? Mm -hmm. Then hey, you got to go. I can't. We gave you an opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. But you, mm -hmm. so at some point, you have to be accountable for yourself. Yeah. So I understand that to to an extent. But again, I mean, not not again, but for me, like if you were to write him in a way that he was going to have real agency and be um, a man, right? So he's like a young man in the situation, right? Mm -hmm. He's going to be a man, even when he made that mis even when he made that mistake. He tried to, he tried to, 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 he compounded bad decision with bad decision, yeah. right? And at some point, he had to pull back and really kind of look at it from a broader perspective and mm -hmm. slow down, you know, and not run out by yourself yeah. because you know that's not being a good decision maker and understanding everything that's happening. You are the king, right? Like Barack Obama ain't going nowhere. Without anybody, yeah. mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. especially when you're in war. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. so if you want baby to sneak out and see me on the side, no, no. <laughs> First of all, I'm just no, you're gonna have your one trusted <laughs> person. Right. You're right. Know. Like sneak me, yeah. like sneak me yeah. that your bodyguard comes yeah. in plain clothes. Yeah. We not wearing armor, yeah. but we all going. <laughs> we just not gonna have on gold birthday today. <laughs> so the part, the part where y'all going though. Yeah, we all we all going up. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Oh, everybody. I think the, the part <laughs> see, the part that makes me um, sympathize for a non, but it does it's not enough for me to feel anything. Uh -huh. I, I agree with everything else we we talked about. <laughs> but the, but the part yeah the part that I do feel I feel for him and his struggle and I think about it as a struggle of maturation right is how he has idealized his father thinking his father has built this kingdom he goes out sees the world and is like wow i knew my dad was bad but i didn't know he was that bad mm -hmm. i didn't understand the depth of the misery and pain and trauma that he mm -hmm. that he inflicted on people mm -hmm. and i think that the fact that that made him want to be a better king 
I I appreciated that. Yeah. I appreciated mm -hmm. him be better, but it didn't mean, but it didn't actually help him do it, and right. that's what I have a problem with. Yeah. But maybe well, because he, he has King authority, King. he doesn't have power, like you guys all said. You said his mom has power. If he had a power and authority, he probably couldn't enact what he sought out to do. But because he only has authority, yeah, but I think like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna like his mom overstepped him every everything every time he tried to say his, his mom was like his complex. mom is a real evil person. Like yeah. I really feel like Enon is a victim of his circumstance. And I know, I know that's crazy. I hate <laughs> Enon. I hate his mother more. His mother to oh. me was super evil. Like yeah. I just know I, mean, I, I feel, feel more so, bad I feel, for Enon. Yeah, yeah, I do feel more so than I do for for the son daughter the pain that he inflicted on the other people. So even though did he didn't, even yeah, though right. his father had did it, but you contrast it with Amari's guilt and her like yeah. her shame over how her family had hurt all of these people and how she wanted to first, you know, make amends for that and then lead the people. Versus him, he just wanted to That's, lead the people. Like he skipped over the part of retribution. Yeah. He skipped over the part of healing exactly. and, and, and and trying to um, make up for what his father did because even though that your father didn't do that you are now accountable for those things of the previous generation I'm gonna push back on that just just a tiny bit because mm -hmm. we got to remember like he wasn't the people that he was trying to give the food to were the Iyika mm -hmm. and you have to remember the Iyika was out killing right. they were out going out and assassinating mm -hmm. like royals who might not even have anything to do with this remember mm -hmm. so like him attempting to bring the kingdom together like hey you guys have this opportunity in spite of the killings mm -hmm. that you guys are doing like you guys are going in and setting families on fire mm -hmm. but here i am still you know i'm going to make this one attempt so i will say he was i think he did do a oh, let's see a good job of being a better king but i mean the fact that the fact even matter he was willing to actually kind of break bread mm -hmm. with his enemies does say something to his character i think but i think i think yeah he's trying but i think also kind of yeah, like to your point of yeah yeah there's no acknowledgement of what happened you right. have to acknowledge right. in order to have restoration you have to acknowledge yes and that's when his olive branch missed it didn't do the acknowledgement of Yo, I, I I know I messed up. <laughs> can we can we say that that's true? If they've already they set the food on fire, right? So who knows what would have happened had the you could decided? Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna trust them. Right. Right. So the possibility of restoration was there. It just we never knew because the other side was so angry that they decided mm -hmm. to strike back. I mean, they're both parties are are in conflict yeah. at that moment. Yeah. So I think so again. I think. And so I think if you have a, a conversation for any person in a position of power or authority who are making decisions based on um, that impact of the people, yeah. sometimes the your first step should be to stop and slow down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So I mean, again, at the context is yes, they were under siege, mm -hmm. food was running out, but you you had food. Yep. And it wasn't going to be done like you want to be out of food right away. Yep. Right. If you take, if you're going to acknowledge what the other people are going through, now I'm not sure. However long for what generation you've been like degrading mm -hmm. and subjugating these people, yeah. now they're in a position where they can strike back. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, are we really too um, confused that they're striking back? Like, let, let's let's be honest. If that was us, the natural inclination is to strike back and try to reclaim power for ourselves. I mean, that's just the, the human thing to do. Some yeah. may not go as far as, you know, like burning people and stuff like that, but you are in, in, in struggle at that moment. So to me, I think it, it, I don't think Inan is a sympathetic character. Um, I don't think Amari is a sympathetic character yeah. only because um, I think <clears throat> they, to me, you could just stop and slow down. Right, like if, if, if you're really concerned about people and understand that, that your decisions are sending people to out the war to die, if I don't want to have war anymore, let me just pull back, okay? We can go into a defensive posture and say, hey, we want to have a conversation. We want to try to fix this. I know we jacked up. Let us prove to you some things, right? But see, that's a, that's a, that would be a mature leader, mm -hmm. right? So again, right. if we try to look at it from to the eyes of this is a YA book mm -hmm. and well we have some mature leaders who aren't mature mm -hmm. but you know in this in this case he is 18 19 years old yeah. so he doesn't have that experience yet 
right? And he feels the pressure of, again, that's why he doesn't have his, as a, as a man, despite what people are saying to you, right, or about you, you have to be able to stand against those headwinds. Your mama disagrees, your general disagrees, suck it up. I'm the king. My job is 10 years from now for this to be here, for everybody to be happy and, and whole. We need to slow down before this whole thing is blown up. Right. Right. I think that's that's why to me he can't be sympathetic because, you know, he needs you know, he just didn't do you still you still need to, to make different decisions as a as a proper king. Right. And I have a question about yeah. him as a character. Did anyone I might have missed it. Did any anyone see at any point if he actually identified himself as a magi? No. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Yeah. He kept, yeah. No. So I always think that that's sort of interesting. I, I guess people um, can figure out that he's a magi. Oh, no, but, but well, they, I think, because he kept but, dying his hair too, he wasn't sorry, no, right. Sean but there was one point where the dad was fainting and somebody saw it. No. Yeah. That was in the first book, right? No, that was in the second book. Somebody, somebody yeah, was yeah, in the second book. Yeah, but he's his cousin. His cousin. Somebody saw it. He would kill her. Right. Cause, yeah, because he was like feeling ashamed. His cousin was like, you know, people with magic is, is this oh, way. That's right. And yeah. he was like, you know, he kind of figured it out. Yeah. And he kind of held back to this thing for his cousin, like for the king or whatever, however, from that just position. But to me, but, I think that's another example, maybe not of like tokenism, but it's really interesting, right? How, and maybe it's just because of the flow of the book. Maybe it's just because, you know, you got to keep the pace moving. But I think that's pretty interesting that um, it seems like the only Magi that they can actually collaborate with is Inan. Right? Because most of them are T... How do you say it again? Titan. Are Titans. Titan. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I just mm -hmm. thought that was interesting. That at, at some, and in terms of their... And I know it's far-fetched. But again, sort of going back to that slowing down and being a certain kind of leader, right? Like at some point he could have said, if you want to attack the Magi, you want to attack me. Because I'm a Magi. But would you, do you think he but, would have done that? No, no. but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> but, just, but, that's, but, but, I, but I'm saying, I think, that, I think that that is part of the, potentially the identity politics here, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Is that you're a Magi and you are watching these Titans attack the people who technically you belong, you belong in that group. Right. Mm -hmm. But see, I think if he had said, I'm one of them, don't attack them, Mama would have killed him. Mm -hmm. Like, Mama Ruthless, I don't think him yeah. saying that would have mm -hmm. saved but him. But she probably knew. Yeah. So we I'm saying she probably knew, but if he had yeah. tried to stand on that leg saying, I'm one of them, don't attack them. I don't right. think that, that okay, well, we, you, that, if you want to go mm -hmm. and fight with them, we're going to kill you fine. too. And that's fine, but then again, I think, but, but, but again, that's to me. That's to me. That's problematic. Yeah, I find that problematic because yeah. it's once again I'm going to use the power that's been afforded me by my birth. Right, I'm the prince. I'm now the king. So again, and talk about reconciliation. You haven't even owned up to the fact that you imagine. Yeah. But, okay. Can you say your point, please? Oh, I, I was saying, I thought he known was a Titan. I'm Cliff, by the way. Hi, Cliff. Hey, Cliff. Right. Yeah. I thought he was a Titan because he only has a streak. Right. And of course, like, he was, you know, like, he got his magic before yeah. everyone else. But the reason he was able to, like, blend in even when Ojori saw his streak was, like, Ojori just was like, oh, like, you're a Titan. Exactly. So, like, mm -hmm. he, like, I understand what you're saying. Like, he was a Teton before Tetons existed, so I guess technically he's a Magi, but like, I don't know. I, I do agree though that like, I feel like he hasn't, he's still struggling with yeah. coming to terms with himself having magic. Yeah. So like, if he doesn't accept himself for having magic yet, there's no, no way, way he's gonna be like, yo, y'all need to accept mm -hmm. these folks. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. Okay, oh. so. Do we jump to another character? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so I think by majority rule, we think Inan is trash. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's trash. He has trash tendencies. I think he's trash the problem, a problematic <laughs> character. No, he's definitely trash. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, 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 no
do, do we like? You know, can I say one no. more thing about we can't him? Yo? Him oh, just yet. He's <laughs> not canceled. My thing about Inan, Inan, like, I don't know if it's the Did writing, but like, he, uh, I feel like his uh, struggle mm-hmm. with being on the side of the monarchy or on the side of the magi mm-hmm. wasn't as fleshed out as I would have liked it to be. Because, like, there were moments where it was like, yo, I'm all about, like, the magi. Like, mm-hmm. Zelly, that's Zelly. my boo. He's all about Zelly. But then, right, that, that. He's all about Zelly. But then, like, he'll, he'll say that. He'll yeah. say that. And then two chapters later, it's like, oh, like, Arisha doesn't wait for anyone. We got we to gotta get rid of him. And I'm like, where was the switch? Like, he just switches dead. back and forth so much. Yeah. With, and I just, I don't understand. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, I, so I think... I, I just kind of chalk it up to it being a YA book. So I think like the first book, um, I felt like there could have been more complexity to it. Like could have been more in in depth discussion of these things. Um, so I think like if she had a rope, if this was if she was intentionally writing this for adults, this might be like a five or six book series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Because I think there is so much. Like from the mama's back story, yeah. there's a lot there. It might there. be coming up. I'm thinking third book. Yeah, but I mean, but mama's I think, story got to come up. Yeah, but I think it there's still to. some, some, mm-hmm. some a deeper dive into yeah. some of the issues, the char- like character building stuff yeah. that you can jump to. Because that was part of my critique on the first book. I felt like it was just kind of it was moving so fast. It mm-hmm. moves fast, yeah. And so I thought, okay, well that's because we need to keep the kids engaged and involved. Yeah. And me, yeah. Right. Versus it being written <laughs> <laughs> for me, right? Yeah. So, Let's say my genres, but, right. but this kept me going. Yeah. yeah. So, but I thought this was the second one. It had more to me. I was more fascinated with the idea that now you have it's more conversation on power and people's just innate biases mm-hmm. um, that that self self uh, that self interest and self preservation. So to me, I, I thought the more it was more uh, complex conversation on that. Yeah. But I do want to try to have uh, go back to Amari mm-hmm. and have a conversation about her. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. if we're going to prioritize, mm-hmm. I think I have more of an issue with Amari than I do well, Inan. In- okay. Yeah, I don't like Amari yeah. because I, mean, I just, we just like what we just yeah. Oh, it was just, did, no. you not, did you not? Did you not? No. Get to the, which part? You can say no. it. Say it. This is spoilers on. Who's right? Say it. What's you part? didn't get to the part where she killed the whole village? Mm-hmm. You missed that part? Was, how many pages is that? Ooh. Oh, yeah, when she. Oh, she oh. killed the village. Oh, Man, she's going to blow everybody up. Is that the end? It's near the end. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I came with Amari no more. Yeah. Wait a minute, what, nope. but who was in the village though? Everybody. Everybody. Children. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. When she did Everybody. Everybody. I was like, this Everybody. is not even mess with her. She's, she's like, what Everybody. boo? Zelly was in there too? Yeah. She knew it. And she, and she knew, knew it. it. So and why did she do that? Well, she, she wasn't. wasn't she, didn't, she didn't know that Zelly was in the village. Because she had, because like the bomb went off yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So she was like, I, the way I read at least was that she knew she could be in the village. But like she was trying to never mind. I'm like, <laughs> also, like I'm not No, no, but I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not But when, 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 when they were ready to sacrifice her, yes. when they were ready to sacrifice her, yes. yeah. so she wanted to put on her I'm okay. I want so I'm Mama Ozzy. Yeah. Okay. She wants to end her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So Amari is actually more like her daddy than he knows. Yes. Which I would have said ain't that bad as Mama. Then drive. No, daddy. No, daddy's trash. Whole family's trash. We're trying to pass the book on the mama's book too. That everybody messed up. Right. So some. So so. Mm. Uh, so let's. So Amari. Oh, I'm so mad with y'all. For, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I'm gonna be on y'all side. So so Amari. Some of her from the from the from let's start from the beginning. Some of the things she that she did. Family? So from the beginning, <laughs> she was um, her intention. Like, and that's why I, kept, I keep thinking about what we talked about with the last book of Corin. Yeah. yeah. Is that though her intention was to help people, it felt like to me the priority was more about what she could do mm-hmm. and how she was suffering, sacrificing for other people. It's a her throne. Right. So, but she, so she, now somehow her sacrifice was bigger. She did that. Mm-hmm. Um, than what these people have been going through for a generation or so. Mm-hmm. She's a mm-hmm. Right. So I think right. mm-hmm. that like set her for me, 
that like set me off on her number one because these people have had their parents mm-hmm. kill right? in front of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, and yes, yeah, you've had Corinne. right, and you yeah, have, and this is interesting sweet, because. You know. because we oh so this is this. so <laughs> look, I'm, I'm I'm sorry so so it's just like the way I'm kind of thinking of it now it's like we hear especially people from and I might be wrong on this so just this is just me brainstorming it through it's probably a better way to to articulate this but a, a lot of times in the media and the news we hear um, uh, white folk who are lower or middle class discussing their their struggles mm, yes. and how well I have this issue and I have that issue. Yes. And yes. and you know, why are we talking about, you know, this because I'm you know, I'm, I'm white and I'm, I'm not too. right, I'm still struggling. I thought you had a four hundred year start. Right. <laughs> but you know details. But it's that it's just because life is a struggle, right? Yeah. So you're going to, to, to deal with stuff, but that doesn't mean that you have to ignore some of the systematic, mm-hmm. systemic mm-hmm. things that were done intentionally right. to hold an entire group right of people down. down. Mm-hmm. Right, and I think that's what she was kind of, to me, mm-hmm. kind of showcasing is mm-hmm. that we understand your, 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 your father was ridiculous to you, mm-hmm. right? We understand that, that in this position, this role that you were in, you didn't have full autonomy for yourself, right? So yes, there are struggles that you deal with there, but it doesn't mean that um, your struggle is, I'm not sure the word, bigger well, I would or, wait or, or should would, be yeah. dealt with first because that's yeah. the perspective mm-hmm. they usually come with. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. mine mm-hmm. is either bigger yeah. or I need mine to be dealt with first in order for me to help you. I mm-hmm. don't, if, you, if I don't feel like you're working for me first, then mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm going to mm-hmm. then work with you or march Absolutely. with you in all of those places. And yeah. that's how I saw it. That's yeah. how I saw it. It's like, not as much as like Amari was trying to ignore what the Magi had been through, but more like she, for me, she kind of came across as like the random white woman who pulls up and is like, well, what about feminism? Right. Or like, what about white women? <laughs> yeah. Like, right. that type yeah. thing. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. like, it's like, okay. I started to move. Right. Like patriarchy. And I, it yeah. felt, right, but, exactly. Like, what, what about patriarchy? But it's like, it's all intertwined. But it felt like, to me, she was trying to co-op mm-hmm. the movement and, like, insert herself yeah. as Absolutely. one of them. And she straight up did. <laughs> yeah. 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 She, but, yeah. Like, and even how she right. walked. And how still she... going for with her own agenda. Right. Mm-hmm. And she, right. She, has she, no regrets about it. None. And I think it started because, you know, when she went to the rally first Mm -hmm. and people started, I think that's where power corrupts too. Mm -hmm. She went to the rally, people were sharing her name. It's like, oh, this feels great. Good to you. Yeah. 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 And then I think she was always trying to chase that. That's when you start to see like all her, her think, her thought processes are like, if when I become queen, when I become queen, and then she talks about. Zed, oh, I wish the mag- Magi would look at me <laughs> the way they look at Zed. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I think that's what led Amari to make all these terrible decisions for the rest of the book. <laughs> and it wasn't rooted in wanting to help and more of her wanting to get to the throne so she could get that power. Because she never felt her. validated. Right, yeah. so that moment she did that rally, she yeah. felt validated. Yeah, and once you have that tasting, you've never had it before. Mm-hmm. She's yeah. constantly chasing that high. Mm-hmm. Like I want to feel validated. I want to mm-hmm. feel this. I want to feel loved because she really hasn't felt that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I mean, kind of giving back that's to a teen perspective. That's a right. Yeah, yeah I mean, because yeah. she's like like fifteen. At the, I'm trying right. like a 15, 16 yeah. years old, right? And so you never had that. Yeah. And so thinking about power, right? If you never knew you had your power, yeah. right? And never actually exercised your power, the moment you have a taste of it, mm-hmm. all of a sudden you're gonna just start chasing it. Mm-hmm. Now granted, she's still a trash person. I am so not on her side. Yeah, yeah. But I have a little something like, yeah. you ne- like, you legit have parent issues. <laughs> like, yeah. like, you legit. And then to have like your own mom trying to kill, like that's just yeah. mm, on a yeah. deeper like, well, her mama trying to kill her. Yeah. Her mama's trying to, and that's how it's about to come from a family perspective. So I know, like, we're we're talking this. We're like, oh, we don't, you know, we don't agree with Amari. We don't agree with none. But I'm also thinking as I'm listening to you, like, we also have to look at it from perspective of you came back to your kingdom on that day of the rally, and it's like you completely forgot, and you didn't even think in the beginning of your speech you needed to atone for. Mm-hmm. You stole the scroll originally and ran up out of here, which is how we so technically, if we are these people, 
started this way. Like, mm-hmm. you are the beginning of the fault of this whole situation. Mm-hmm. And not and not because you want to help these people, right. but because the person, I can tell pop. you, <laughs> that because the person, pop. right, because your pop killed your, your friend slash servant girl, oh, okay. yeah. right? Yeah. And, 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 and that could be a whole oh, okay. conversation. Be a right, in other words, Belly, I need to replace Benta, <laughs> and that is why I'm best friend of nah, you right now. Oh, I got gone. Nah, she she was was like, I got gone. I think you She was like, yo, he killed my homie. No, no, I'm going to tell you. I think that. I think that. I think that. I think that. She wouldn't have taken the scroll that, you know, that was, that, it's yeah. a died over, you know, like in. But I feel like I that was a personal thing. Like it was like, yo, he killed my friend over this thing. Mm-hmm. So clearly, this thing is important to him. He took something important to me, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna take this thing that's important to him. I don't think she took that and said, maybe we can free the Magi. Like I don't think she. Did. She is. Trying she was. She was. She was. Really, why is she trying to leave? Leg, uh, how do I say? Not Vegas. Legacy. Yeah. Why Vegas? was she trying to? Leave? Yeah, that's how you say. Leg. It's not Lego. Yeah. Why was she trying to leave? 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 Just being rebellious. You're not She's just saying little white girl to get mad at her daddy and she's like, I'm gonna date this white girl black man that's really rap. That's not a thing. I'm gonna go to a book reading. You need those moments. You need those trigger moments. Everyone mm. like, when Mike Brown got killed in the street, that's when black people started to realize that police suck or whatever. I don't know. Like, Maybe that was her, I bet maybe that's a, that's a bad analogy, but maybe that was her moment where she's like, I can no longer sit and watch what everything, you know how everything's going. And, mm-hmm. So I don't know. I don't but know. you say watch as though you know. She didn't know her history. So that's why I'm saying it was personal. When you know your history and yeah. you know that bad things keep happening and then mm-hmm. you make a decision to be rebellious, like, because I'm going to try to like meet you where you are. I'll use the example you gave in, in Ferguson, right? All those people who got mad are people who know the history there. Like, mm-hmm. on one side of the street, and then the tickets that they get, even just for jaywalking, like, mm-hmm. you're giving me so many tickets, I can't even go to work, right? Because I can't drive my car. And so, like, the issues that they were already having in Ferguson, yes, I know my history. So when you do something, yes, that's my trigger. Mm-hmm. She didn't know what Amanji was. She knew nothing about incantations. She don't. She didn't even know what the paper was. She, she literally she took it because my dad mm-hmm. likes it. And I'm upset with him right now. Mm-hmm. And then when you grab Zelly and the way that young lady looked at you in that, and she said, please let go of me. Leave me alone. You didn't care because you had no idea where you, you need, were going. You, need to leave. you just needed to leave and you wanted this young lady to take you there. Like, yeah. that is all personal. That had yeah. nothing to do with, I have a plan, I, I have a thought, and I'm trying to, her. you know, figure Thank something y'all. out. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank okay. y'all. Cause I remember, like in the first book, when she t- <laughs> I mean, honestly, it just it, it, th- it took me back to history, right? It took me. She's like my friend Benta, and I was like, I wonder if Benta thought you were her friend. Mm. Right, mm. right, like, like for real, Can like, we, yeah. like, like, she, if I, if, if, like, real, like, you know, like, oh, I, it just, it just, it just took what me out. What, 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 what would Benta say? What would Benta say? Like they talk about, like, oh, our, you know, our slaves. I mean. Our black people love being slaves. They love us so much. Oh, good to my best friend, the one who only cares for me when I feel bad. Girl. <laughs> like. <laughs> Bencher ben- ben- was in the slave course like, oh, this white girl. Yeah, man. <laughs> 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 I'm my nerve. I'm like, 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 I think she had moments, right? She she Thank got there. I think in the end of the first in the first book, she had moments. She got there finally. Like, okay, I get it. I know why I'm in this fight. Yes, yeah, right. And then she she lost the growth she had in the first book. Yeah. In the second book, and I'm like, but did she have that growth, or did she have a lust for Zane that made her feel like, oh, ah, like anymore? Zane. 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 What was Zane in this book? Yeah. Was no perspective from Zane. No. Oh, yeah. That made me a little. Yeah, I did want to hear more I, of him, but thank you because you know what I was thinking about <laughs> having a cozy. Is it changing your mind? Like, it is because I was I yeah. didn't see her like you're always saying, but now I do. I'm like, oh, she got the scroll, mm. and life starts to happen fun. fast. You know how like, you might it just starts to happen, and mm. then you in a caught up in the end of. In a movement that you weren't even trying to start, you yeah. were just. I'm just trying, like roll the park. I just want to sit down. Right. Next <laughs> thing you know, freaking movement, right? Because it has to be worth something. At well, I'm just point, saying, but it's like something. it's like I was just saying she took the scroll for her dad, and then you now I'm in a movement, and I wasn't even trying to be in a movement, right? Mm-hmm. And now the movement started. Do I abandon the movement? Do I go with it? 
I think that's she a similar parallel in. for Zalik too. Yeah, because yeah. like she brought magic back and she knew something would happen, but she didn't, but she didn't, she didn't know where. Eco. So you like, caught up in the movement. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I was thinking in the book. I was thinking for myself for 2020. Uh, like, uh, be mindful of like of your emotions and not being so quick to think and uh, to act and just mm-hmm. you know, because even like now the world we live in is quick instantaneous news you know not to be responsive because mm-hmm. we don't know most of the stories mm-hmm. most of the time right yeah. so I was thinking in the second book every day was like they trying to get us what should we do oh we gone yep <laughs> I'm like can y'all yeah. think this outside they are like 17 mm-hmm. just pop like, but even <laughs> like they were 17 the whole team I'm like I think we five. I'm yeah. like bro y'all need I'm to slow this down or something yeah but I understand even what the older the elders so mm-hmm. you still have to include them too they still existed the Honda is a mom she still existed, Ojor, whatever, the older mm-hmm. lady was strong. She still existed and she was still also thinking fast. Yeah. Wait, can we talk about what powers you want? <laughs> <laughs> I I yeah, yeah, yeah. Which plan? Yeah. Yeah, which plan? Like, what plan did y'all resonate with? Like, oh, no. I don't want no dang no magic. I don't. I don't know. I think I think I think we definitely need a dictionary in the back. I don't remember. Well, in the book, in the beginning, she has them. Yeah, y'all didn't take the test. Where's the test? Who's that? On children and blood. Okay. So we have the. Childrenandblood.com. Okay. Yeah. And then you can take like the magic plan test and find out. Yeah. Okay. Did you do that? Yeah. What's yours? I'm a connector. Oh. You take y'all out. Seer. Okay. Connector. Seer. You know what? I think I'm gonna be a connector too. I just feel like I'm gonna be a burner. I might be a fire. Well, 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 <laughs> so, so we have a comment from online from uh, Tiffany, uh, Tiffany, who basically who, who agrees with who agrees with us that Amari was really losing it toward the middle, <laughs> which became her father more so than Anon. Mm. So I mean, I think that was a really. I mean, Strength I think we. Amari. Yeah, we, we all agree with that, and that's a that's an interesting thing about the trauma mm-hmm. that yeah. people endure. Even from the people who, who I, I, I don't know if I would say she hated her father, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but who she had a lot of troubling issues with. Yeah, seeking his approval, that's a thing. Right, and then in the end, oh, you still sort of make some of the same decisions yeah. um, that, you know, you turn into them. Trauma the cycles. Yeah. Right. But I think another interesting part about that, right, is that I don't remember her ever like it's unconscious or subconscious or whichever one because I don't remember her ever saying like oh my dad probably wanted to be a great king the same way I want to be a great queen and it led him to making these bad decisions right so there's like, like that self-awareness again partly because of age right but how like as she kept saying when I'm queen when I'm queen right so it almost was like for her the ends justify the means mm-hmm. like it doesn't matter what I do because mm-hmm. when I'm queen then mm-hmm. I'll be a great queen and I mm-hmm. will stop all the mm-hmm. killing and I'll do all these things I'm like but you're doing all this stuff to get there mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's interesting because when you say that I think the way mm-hmm. that um, that Tommy replayed some of the father's mm-hmm. um, what is, what's the word like his his commandments towards to yeah, his kids yeah. and what they remember yeah. strike Amari and the other thing that Inan was saying, Arisha, Arisha, Arisha waits for no one. Oh, waits for no one. Right, Arisha waits for no one. So we don't know what other things he might have said that might have been more loving, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. uh, to his kids. But those are the two things yeah. that stuck with him. So, and when I'm making decisions, and for her, I lo- so the way that this comes about, I love the fact that she did that now, because that's, that's the resonating voice yeah. of their yeah. father, yeah. is that strike. Yeah. Like and that's, but when you say, but that's a that's a violent act, mm-hmm. right? So despite all that they learned, right, what resonates mm-hmm. with them is the is the violence is mm-hmm. strike, yeah. you know, and that's what sits with her. Yeah. So her decisions, uh, what comes from it is that okay, I need to somehow punch. I need to attack this thing mm-hmm. and not mm-hmm. what we were saying. Take a moment. Take a take a beat and think it through. Yeah. It was. I need to go the after food, this yeah. thing. The fruit of the violent seed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I was thinking with that. But all of them, but that, I mean, the brother, too, y'all don't like, is that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like the family. Whatever, y'all like the family. I'm not going to say I don't like it quite yet. Because I think the seeds, I kept thinking about the seeds that are planted, even if you don't like them, they're still planted. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Right? And so then you spend the rest of your life, especially when you're young, even when you're grown, forever, trying to undo some of that stuff. Right. Yeah. Right? And right. it's like an ongoing process. I'm thinking that yeah. dad was like, strike. Mm-hmm. Remember the, the, the daddy's words, like a uh, country over self or whatever. Yeah. He kept, he kept, that was throughout the entire book, he kept hearing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So think about it's like a conflict in terms of what you really want to do and then what the family, like you said earlier, you're trying to live your life. And yeah. dad, mama keeps shooting it down, right? Yeah. Right. So but it's almost like they, the daddy ingrained this stuff in them. And they're trying to break free, but it's still there. Yeah. Right, yeah. which is, yeah. uh, I mean, it's, it's like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's like we should be a king at 17. Because yeah. I probably would be at 17 doing some stuff that my daddy really want me to do. But now it grown, I'm like, oh, I don't yeah, but even like, but even the daddy, right? So it may be, you know, you know, Orisha first and all these things, right? But at the end of the day, the daddy went crazy and um, killed everybody after his family was killed. So wait a second. So if that's not personal, if that's not personal, and if that's not, you know, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I, 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 I got I got it. No, no, we are. You know, I'm like, yeah. so how you about Orisha first when you killing half the citizens in Orisha? Because of what happened to your family, so like, he feels so like, who's so Arisha? Like, right, so maybe who's right. Arisha? So number one, who's Arisha? Mm-hmm. And then number two, you may say like Orisha over everybody, mm-hmm. but it really ain't Orisha over everybody. Now, is it? It's I mean, like, it depends on we who's the people. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. We, we the people. Did what he wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. So exactly. I do. So because of that, because you said that, it makes me think that we need to. Uh, the other petition that we need to get out is we need a prequel. So I need to know what really happened to Agreed. his. I bet, to his I bet your mama did it. Right. I need, I need her to go That's back. That's going to be in book three. Right. No, well, it's going to be a book three because you got to finish the story. But she needs to do, like, maybe some short stories. Something. I think she can go about, back at three. Oh, yeah. I think okay. she can. Because there's, think, cause there's just like some back just to build the Lord. Right, cause yeah. to build it out. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. You don't think this could be I mean, she brought mama's daddy's story up. You don't think this coming back? I think she's going to talk about the real house she had it from the I don't know if she'll be a tyrant because there's a because there, yeah, you have because yeah, so if we if I understand it correctly yeah, in the yeah. book um Zelly is an entirely different country yeah. now yeah they're in the same right so so like she's in a so she's so she's like I thought it was like a different country I'm thinking somehow she's going to connect What's the dude's name? Rock was it Rowan? Rowan. Oh, Rowan. I love him. Yeah. Hot. That's my favorite. I feel like okay. I feel like I she's out there. Who's the she? Say it again. I missed this part. Rowan. Zelly. I think Zelly, Zelly is okay. a different country, and I'm my assumption is I decided to Rowan's country because he's mm-hmm. not yeah, 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 that, So I feel like there's I feel like like the lore right. What yeah, makes yeah, Star yeah. Wars so big is that yeah. there's so much you can build around mm-hmm. it, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So. I feel like like so to do a number of short stories because I need to know because I feel like what we what they're saying what happened to his family is not what really happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we kind of got a yeah. glimpse of that with mm-hmm. his mom saying, "Well, it didn't really happen that way. I right. kind of had a hand in it." Yeah. So his father's being yeah. someone said it. Yeah. His, his mom is manipulative, been manipulating yeah. Yeah. not just the kids, yeah. but the I dad as well. Sure. So mm-hmm. is this? Is the rate does the rate happen? Like I, we, I need I more backstory. And she says that. it with ease because the one thing I remember that I was waiting for, and I was like, when are they going to cover this? When he woke up out of his whatever forever sleep, and then they started walking around, and he was like, "Did they do this?" And she was like, "No, I did it." Next subject. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Like yeah. I was waiting for her to admit that, and I was like, "What is taking you so long to ask what that loud boom was that you heard in the room?" Like mm-hmm. you've been up for like three days, and you have yet to ask anybody what was that noise you heard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing I think would be interesting, just in terms of that backstory, if I'm remembering correctly, um, like Inan and Amari's grandfather was. Like there was peace and there was coexistence between the Magi and mm-hmm. the other Orishans, mm-hmm. and it was their king, their father. I can't remember his name. Do we know? I don't remember. Mm-hmm. But the, it was their father that supposedly, after the Magi came and destroyed his family, that was what sanctioned him to do the raid. Mm-hmm. Right, because it was actually his. Hold on. His first, first it was, was his first, first, animal. first animal. animal. Right, it was his first animal. with a different wife, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, did the mom. Oh, so that, that's why? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 that's the yeah. thing. Yeah. So, she could become yeah. queen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Oh, we're already on this. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm going to get a couple of like, nah. I'm going to get a couple of You have to do an exchange of life to get some time? Because of the. That's our theory. That's our theory. 
the thing, we see it again. That was that you were loved. close to. That you yeah. loved. So what? So it's her sister. The theory is that the mom, the mom, killed his original family so that she could be queen. And if she's a connector, she has to sacrifice the one she loves. So now the added theory is the original mom, like the first family, was his, her sister. Well, someone, she, yeah. someone, someone close, close, yeah. to close to her. She killed the whole family so, so she that get so she get the power and that she could be the queen and be in the position of a uh, power to manipulate everything. We don't even need but the titans, titans. But Titans didn't exist oh. yet. So no. She didn't know she about was being a center. But she, no, she, she didn't oh, know about being a center. No, I bet. She, but she's little, no, she's a little power. No, no, she probably did know about it. Because if Mama Adela knew it. she was the first center. Like, and well, how, was, how did she become a center? If, if, you, if you have to, if you have to get your mm-hmm. power from other people to become a center. Mm-hmm. So and she was hype. She was hype about burning all the scrolls. Maybe she's seen them before. So there, yeah. So see, so we really need. No, you know what? Mama knows everything. Mama knows everything. Maybe she's not um, the king. She Remember how the king was with the officer? Kia? Yep. Mm-hmm. The admiral. Yeah. The admiral. Uh, Maybe yep. that's why she was with him because she knew he knew that his wife burned started the raid. Yeah. And so probably that's what stopped their whole relationship, and mm-hmm. that's why he was willingly with the admiral. I mean, I think he was willing with her because he was just willing. <laughs> So 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 we don't like a body. So do we need to um go in on Zelly? Is she she, is she innocent? You know what I appreciate this? about Zelly's story is like Tommy actually talked about how it is to feel depressed when you lose people in your family. Because mm-hmm. there was that one, you know, the whole book. She's like, I don't want to be here. I just want to escape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, like you know, uh, that die. first line when she was like, uh, I didn't think. I thought burying one parent would have prepared me for another. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I felt that. So then, I mean, me like. Too. So then, because so I appreciated Tommy for like actually being realistic with yeah. Zelly, um, because then there was that one moment where she was underground when the explosion happened. She's about to die, and she realized she actually. Then she finally realized she wanted to live, and mm-hmm. that to me is when she broke through her depression. And she mm-hmm. so I, so for that part, I did appreciate Tommy for like being realistic, because grief yeah. is hard, and yeah, it is. Yeah. you know she had to fight through a lot. There's still a lot of happiness, still a lot of loss happening around her, yeah. um, and I think like. She, like I said, very realistic, mm-hmm. but at the end she like persevered and she's pushing mm-hmm. for bigger than herself. So mm-hmm. I have no problem with Zelly. I appreciated that. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe because I nobody is going to go in on Lava. Go in on her. Don't go in too hard. I'm not going to. I mean, because I mean, she, she, in my opinion, is the most redeemable as far as her morals. But well. I think that she, um. Whereas Amari was trying to co-opt a movement that wasn't hers, yes. I feel like Zali was trying to shy away from a movement that was hers almost more than it was anyone else's. Mm-hmm. But she started it, and you know these people are talking about like, oh, you know, like we're gonna make you the queen. Oh, um, you know, you're the what do they call the elder of our mm-hmm. clan, whatever type thing. And every time she was given a new responsibility or a new position of power, she rose to the challenge like, oh, like, you know, I got to take care of these mm-hmm. people. You know, mm-hmm. this is my clan. Mm-hmm. But there was always a hesitation. But so, and, I'm, and I'm not saying that I expect there not to be any hesitation. Right. Of course, it's difficult, but... but she can ask for it. Yeah. But, but she can ask, ask for any I know, I know. I'm just, I'm trying to... And that's what I'm trying to do. Do you think there's a difference between ego? Do you think Umbra wants to kill herself? No, do, you think, yeah. do, you think, do you think that's the difference between the ego, right? So we talked about power yeah. corrupting, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how Inan and particularly um, uh, Amari. Amari, Amari, right? Mm-hmm. Just it's straight ego. It's power being. It's it's ego corrupting power in my mind, right? Yeah. And it's all mm-hmm. about me, right? And I'm gonna take on this this mantle so that I can be queen. I think it shows maybe the. Um, the approach of a person who ascends to leadership and authority without mm-hmm. actually wanting to even be a part 
wanting to be a part of it in right. a formal way. Mm -hmm. She's a part of it because of her heritage. She's a part of it because of the raid. But you know, even that, um, even early when she talks about like she goes, um, she sees her mother, right, and mm -hmm. she's like, "Just let me die. Just let me be here with my parents." Mm -hmm. um, and how, and some at some sometimes where people who have authority and power aren't fit for it, it's actually up to the people who are fit for it but don't have the authority to move things forward. Yeah. See, I saw Zelly. I really connected with the fact that, uh, like, with her, the term, the idea that, like, how they say, brave women do it afraid. You know, you make oh, yeah. you going forward. Yeah. You don't know what's next, but you know you got to do it. Remember in the book one, she, she couldn't summon her power. She yeah. said, "My power gone," but I got to keep doing it and knowing that when the time come, here it comes. So right. for me, I really connected with her. With yeah. I'm afraid. Me too. I, like I, I don't know what to do, but I got to do this, and I think. You know, most people, when you're called to do something, you ain't just like, oh my God, let me do it. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my God, I don't know. All, all these people expecting me to be. Mm -hmm. And what you just go name? on and do it, but it's that fear. It's that whatever you want. Is it fear? I don't know which one. I think it's vulnerability. Yeah. I think it's yeah. vulnerability. You know, they're like, you don't ever feel like you're, most people don't feel like they're up to, like, right. I mean, I mean, really all though. these folks, am I qualified? Should I be doing it? But then you right. just go on and do it anyway. That's why I connected with her humanly. Because she never felt like, oh my God. I'm I got this. I got this. It's more like, oh, like a Mari did. Right, right, Mari right. felt that way all the time. Right, right. Mari was like, you know, we we just gonna kill everybody. Yeah. Like, we just have no plan, but kill we kill Billy. Right. 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 I feel like she had the most <laughs> growth in this book. Like, oh, God. Yeah. So she had the most awesome. growth. I think yeah. when she became the elder, she realized it's bigger than me. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, this is not about me anymore. I'm. It's about these people. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think I was like. Yes, come on, come on. Yeah, I don't think Amari grew a lot. Because think about the beginning, she seemed scary with the little scroll. Then by the end, she was like, teach me the chance. Uh, like she no, became no, stronger than everybody no. else. For sure, no, absolutely. She, she gave, yeah, she became, she became more assertive. She became more assertive like, in the beginning. She was crazy. more scary. Then by the end, she's like, I'm a build up over village. Like, but that's not where she started. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, she I went from being more weak and mild yeah, to was. like teach me to it can't I wanna fight she went from weak to up to whether we like it or not. Yeah. Yeah. Weak and scared to strong and murder. Yes. It is growth though. It was growth. I mean, yeah. She's strong. Because then she just ran initially. She just. I think change. I'm good with change. Oh, and then one time Zelly was like, she wanted her to teach her the stuff, but she was like, she wore me out. She wouldn't stop. She was just determined to learn. Because she doesn't care. I'm saying, but that is growth from what she was. Is it? Yes. It's because because it's growth is just she's it's unchecked in that. Yes. The power still reveals, right? Yes. She was still in a position where. Um, like, you, like I forget. I think you said when she she um, when she did the rally and she had a taste of what it would be yeah. to be queen, mm -hmm. right? Because then all That's of her really actions good. based off of that was okay. I'm gonna challenge the elder of this yeah, of, of this crazy. clan, though I'm not even a part of exactly. this. Yeah. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna roll the mic even so though I'm not like. Yo. I just like, like disrespectful, like yeah, that was yeah. human the whole time. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Like, how so, how dare she. Like, so she could have, she could have had the growth of of confidence in herself, yes. right, and just but and yeah. checked it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I still have to keep some kind of humility about it. Right, but. She had no kind of metering on it. 24 no, hours no. after your best friend said, can you not use this on any other module, please? <laughs> right. yeah. Not in 24 hours. It's like, yeah. that's not, yeah. 12. It's like, six. <laughs> <laughs> she, was up late. she went to sleep and woke up. <laughs> she took a nap. <laughs> she was like, I'm going to say, you know what? By the way, I'm going to challenge you to get connected. Because you won't listen to me. Right. Yeah. Yes. Because somehow because I you know won't, better. Right. Right. That's right. how you know Benson is her best So what is it? Only I can solve this. <laughs> right. I, I just love that quote. Yeah. Only I can solve oh, this. Right. But I think yeah. I think so, to me, in my, what's, what's kind of like tossing in my head is the idea of the difference between go, growth and progress. I think she, I, I'll give you, I'll concede it on the growth. She did right. grow. It's semantics. Right. But she didn't <laughs> pro progress. Right. At all. And I was like. Right. She had growth. She didn't mature. Right. Mm. She did. She didn't mature. Yeah. She yeah. She did not mature. I, I, I yield. Okay. So, <laughs> but Zelly. Right, because yeah. I need someone to really, to, wow. to really say, okay, only because, 
You talking about Rowan? Um, talking so I'm trying to get someone else in trouble, but I guess I'm gonna have to be the one. Do it, do it, do it. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, who mentioned it first was Kimba. Mm-hmm. At the beginning, the whole book, the whole reason why they're still in, um, uh, still having this uh, this conflict, um, is that uh, the uh, uh, Zelly determined that what uh, Inan okay. was trying to do uh, wasn't um, wasn't yeah. genuine. Yeah. So she just so she decided. Right, <laughs> not to take a beat, right, right. and yeah. listen yeah. and hear yeah. and talk, because the vengeance, right. So yeah. for me, that was that was when the when the, the title of the book really kind of set in. Yeah. So I started looking for what was you know the issue the the, the themes of, of virtue and the themes of vengeance yeah. mm-hmm. was that she was so still in her feelings yeah. about losing her pops, yeah. right that she could not trust and granted i understand right, right? but um because if she if she had us said okay mm-hmm. let's just hear this out mm-hmm. like could this book will be completely thing? different mm-hmm. than what it is right now mm-hmm. right so i'm just wondering like she still has to be accountable for some of her rash decisions right because she's not she doesn't show herself to be the most mature mm-hmm at all times as well. And you know so what? I think that has to be put, put out there. And you know, that's an interesting point because I, I picked up on that, but the approach I took to it was I was wondering why the other Magi kept deferring to her after that decision. It's not that she didn't need to have input, right? But that like after the way that that went down, that almost at every turn, they keep still looking at her. Mm-hmm. They keep looking at her. They keep looking at her. And I think, you know, it's also because she's the one who brought magic back Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and even gave them sort of a chance right she's the soldier of death um but i but i didn't think about it from her leadership capability because to me grief will mess anybody up Mm -hmm. um and but do i think part of the reason that she did that was for personal vengeance and under a personal agenda absolutely Mm -hmm. right her feelings was hurt yeah lots of pops and a non you know her, the love of her life. Mm. Yeah, betrayed her. Right. Quote, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. In her mind. Right. In her mind, she felt betrayed. So that decision, you know, she didn't have all the information, but again, that you still have to be accountable for. Mm-hmm. What decision did she make? When she decided to um, not take the uh, yeah the food. Yeah. But, but I don't think that's her. her but I don't think she opinion. saw that. Is this, is this is this something true? They asked her, her opinion. Is this something, is it, you know, authentic? Right. And she said, no, he's yeah. a liar. And we're great, right. which is true. And he's a liar. But for me, I think there's an interesting right. parallel between those two characters because what I'm thinking about, you know, like Inan riding for the Magi, like you were saying, like he was riding for his girl. Like, <laughs> that's how it was. So he was a part of that movement because he was all about Zali. Right. When at the end of the day, when it came down to it, she was a lot of the time a lot of the position she found herself in was because she was so anti Mm non so like he was so pro Zali that he rode with the squad and she was so anti non that she sacrificed the squad in in a lot of cases Mm -hmm. to try and get at him so i think they're a lot more alike than uh, Mm -hmm. she she would like us to think that's really interesting i mean you know i just want to see what people think about that i just think i don't don't, don't have like i don't find her uh, very problematic. Yeah. No, I don't think it no, was a bad yeah. decision yeah. to burn the food. <laughs> 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 okay. more. I think it was a bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> I think also because I think wasn't Mama. I'm definitely gonna butcher her name. She I had just I mean, smashed yeah. everything yeah. on everyone's she, head. Yep. She, she was, was there, right? She was, she was there, so she could have said, you know what? I don't think this is a good decision. I oh, think, you talking about Mama Agua? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 not um, yeah, wasn't she? She was in the like the meeting the camp. Like she could have said, as a wise elder, as someone who's been around the earth a little bit, maybe we should stop and think before we say, "Yeah, let's go go ahead and burn this food." But she's I, not I think she was elder. more interested in hurting Nan than anything. Right. Yeah. I think it was her. It was her feelings about. She, she had so many opportunities to take him out. Yes, she, she kept did. not doing it. That's so true. That's why I can't get mad at her because there's many times that she didn't hurt and harm him. 
that she could have. have. So maybe I mean, she should have. I agree. Right, but like I'm saying, like the one time you burn the food, I can't get mad at you because his olive branch was not genuine. Like it's not. And when you tell me I can have said food or whatever, if I come back and kill my family. But it wasn't if I come back and kill my family. It was take out the Iyika. It was about the Iyika. But the Iyika housed the only reapers that she knew existed. Is that not what she lives right now? So like the Iyika are the training right now? The Iyika were the rebels and she wasn't even with the Iyika, right? Right, Mm -hmm. Right, so before like Zaley, like Zaley, before she became like (laughs) soldier of death, the Iyika were out doing shit. I mean, doing stuff. But that's who she was with at that moment when she said, we're going to burn the food. That's who she was with. Like oh, that whole right, right, but the assassinations, yeah. the, the Yika assassination were happening prior right. to that. That's what I'm saying. So like I mean, that, I get those that. were the folks that he was trying to take out. But her decision was based off of when she walked in there and the spirit that she felt of actually being with her family, her history, her yeah. culture again and being bonded and connected to someone yeah. again for the it first time good. after losing her family. Like that you're asking me to like, and I'll say this, uh, I think my perspective is, and I know this, like in life, I am not cool with compromise. I'm with collaboration. Yeah. I don't believe that there should be a, I lose something in order for Amen. you to win something. Yeah. I believe at the end of the day, we have 15 ideas and we have to strategically figure out how to do 30 things. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Because there, there shouldn't be a reason that you lose anything or I lose anything. And right. so for me, that olive branch isn't genuine because it had absolutely no collaboration in it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It was a compromise. Yeah. I am asking you all to compromise something yeah. in order to get this food. And that's my version of my version of peace is compromise. So that's the other thing that I also think is if your version of peace is compromised, when we do come to you, you're just gonna have us fight in this civil war and then we'll go right back to slavery. Cool. Yeah. I've seen it happen before. My understanding of it was <laughs> my understanding was of it was like you can join us and we can unite the kingdom. That was my perspective when well, he offered not the paper. For the for the, wait for so I I saw that as his perspective when too. they were when they were like young and in love in the dreamscape and blah one. Mm-hmm. That's when like they're imagining this new Orisha that that they can make. Mm-hmm. But that 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 I heard. But when this when this new opportunity came up where mm-hmm. we're gonna open up the you know the storage and people can come get food, that was that was blatantly to me. It may have been a compromise between him and the powers that be, right? Right. No, for his mom. And, for right, his mom. Right. And so that's where the compromise is. I think, I mean, there's no way I would have trusted him. And I, I think Zaley's apprehension to trust him was founded. It, it was it was founded on his past decisions. Mm-hmm. And future, because he never got better. Right. And then on top of that, oh, she man. does have the heartache. She does have the vengefulness. So I think it compounds it, but I don't, I don't, if you take, if you take the romantic stuff out of it, I still don't have trust it. Absolutely not. Even with the romantics, why can't we look at it as experience? We constantly say that when we go through something that's right. hard, we have to learn a lesson from it. You have to be learn. smart about it. Like, did we, she learn she was went too far? No, I feel like she learned from it. I feel like we're so busy trying to, we want to find some fault in Zelly. Um, and I feel like that's fair to want to try to, you know, look at both sides. But at the same time that we constantly walk around and say, when you experience something, you need to learn from it. Absolutely. We can't get mad at this young lady from actually learning from what she experienced. Whereas everybody else is like, yeah, it happened, but I'm not going to learn my lesson. Because here's the thing about the sister Anon and Amari. As you said, strike, strike. You didn't learn. Nope. You keep hearing your dad say strike and you keep doing it. Where is about the experience that you learn that every single time you strike, that's not the good thing I think thing she got it at the do. very, very end. When she's like, when she, her mom like, are you going to strike me? And she's like, no. And she walked off. Mm. The very end. Right. She's, she was like, I have a choice. I don't have to strike. But that's the definition but, of learning. Right. right. And she's so learning. Learn. Learn. Right. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that we're right. right. looking at Delhi and Delhi When it's a right. 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 the person who should not. And that's my thing. Did I say it was the right choice? But at the end of the day, it's always been like, in the same way that like I get irritated when allies like it takes something personal yeah right for, in the movement at least let's just say the movement for black lives mm-hmm. like a white person has to experience a non-black person mm-hmm. has to experience something personal mm-hmm. for it to click for them yes yeah. 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 Benta had to die 
mm. for it to click for her. Yeah. Even if it wasn't right at that moment when she died, but she had to die for it to click for her. Yeah. And at the end, it had to be her own mother at the end of her sword for it to click for her that she shouldn't listen to her pops. Like, why wasn't it? Why couldn't it have been any other time when it's an entire village of people that you don't know? Great. Why couldn't it click then? Yeah. Well, because it's your mom, it's a personal relationship. You're gonna choose. Yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. It was the right choice. I just said she mm-hmm. decided to have a choice. That was a moment. But yeah, um, that's that's supposed, bro. is that supposed to? No. So I was gonna say, do you think that that's a tie in to the the potential Amari of the future? Maybe that's some of the potential for virtue. Oh no, because after letting that happen, then that's just what built. That yeah, that led to the other stuff that happened. Ship We the epilogue, at least. We don't read the whole book. I'm only good at it. It's only like thirty pages. Um, so I want to. How many were at the actual book event? How many got to to hear her talk? <laughs> yeah. I, didn't I, I was there, I didn't get to hear it. But, so I did hear some stuff, right? So I, what I do want to um, have a conversation about is the significance of this book. Mm-hmm. Because I, I think part of what uh, why this book resonates is that uh, it's a book written specifically um, about uh, a people, um, uh, a culture mm-hmm. that hasn't been put out front mm-hmm. before, right? So even though it's not specifically about like African Americans, mm-hmm. it's our heritage, right? Some people, where well, everyone is from, right. this group of people, but it's an aspect of our of our heritage, right? Mm-hmm. Of of our diaspora that we can look to and say, wow, a story yeah. being written with us in mind. Mm-hmm. Um, putting our culture, our heritage, uh, into a bright light of esteem, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's part of what helps this book resonate and why people oh, are yeah. passing it on to kids and mm-hmm. we're all reading and sharing mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Um, but the thing that comes to mind, though, is one of her comments during that uh, during her talk, when she talked about how um, when she was in school. Um, her characters that she used to write, uh, write yeah, were white. Were white. Yeah. Right. And how um, she had to like take a moment, like it, it finally clicked that all the stuff that she was reading and what she was actually writing as a black woman, as a Nigerian American, mm-hmm. what she's writing are characters who are white or biracial. Mm-hmm. And then eventually it clicks for her that why am I? Right. Why am I not writing? Yeah. Right, myself, myself world. into yeah. Yeah. into these books. Yeah. So I think that's a really um, it's very uh, poignant because it's it's essentially what you know mm-hmm. all this is is really about yeah. is why these books are out here so that we can see ourselves in them. Mm-hmm. But then you know I think there's something for us to analyze there. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I just want to kind of put that out there that a creator. Right, as as creators and whatever we're creating, we still have to work through that trauma. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right, to make sure that um, what we're putting out uh, reflects us in a positive manner, and that we're not passing that on, passing on the negative aspects of that mm-hmm. um, to you know, generations that come yeah. behind us. So I don't know if people have any thoughts on. It. I was I was gonna say I think. That's why I love that it focused on African spirituality. Because I feel yes. like that's where the real source of our power begins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I was so happy to not read about Jesus and Amen. <laughs> I love the Ashe running, running through our bodies. Yeah, I love the too. Oya, the Yemaya. I just, I, that to me felt very powerful. Because yeah. it showed that when, there was like one scene when they all uh, connected their powers. Mm-hmm. And then they were they were invincible. Like imagine if we all had our own magic, if we all were understood what Ori was controlling our heads, and then with that we go ahead and come together and enact all our power. Like I mean, I don't. There were so many. That to me was very symbolic. There was a lot of. I saw what she was doing there. So I think that was very beautiful. That they there's actually a book that's fantasy, but this is real life. Like instead of looking for the 
the Greek goddesses, like we have our own, we've been had our own. If anything, yeah. they took it from us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like yeah. <laughs> so that <laughs> sorry. That's what, I, that's what I really loved about this book. Yeah. Yeah. The dreadlocks, really the, the all that, the, the decentering of whiteness. And He's I think great, like, but this we need this. We need this as a people because yeah. that's we what we've been. That's that's why we don't have. That's what we feel. That's why we're not grounded. Mm-hmm. Because we're not in our, we're not rooted in our spirituality. We're rooted into something that was fed to us, and you wonder why we're all over the place. Mm-hmm. So that this to me was like a count, like a, a slap in the face, to all the brainwashing we've experienced. So, Ashe, <laughs> like, Ashe, but it's also her as an author leading by example. Absolutely, mm. and and even though we are readers, we are also writers. You know, the more books I read, the more compelled I feel to write, the more vocabulary yeah. I get, yeah. um, the more stories kind of spin out of the stories that I'm reading. Yeah. And the fact that this is an uh, African-centered novel, you know, it's kind of like you want to be writing in your image. It's like God created us in God's image. Mm-hmm. And so that's us. Mm-hmm. That is us. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I think a lot of like Tommy gets to her aha moment of oh I can write about me it's not we're not told we're not taught I mean from the very beginning we are not taught that we're important you know like Dr. Martin Luther King said it and it resonates with me we have to come to deeply regard ourselves yeah yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for me it was an example of just sort of talk about um but can they? to me this is a work of like of anti-racist. Mm-hmm. This is a problem. Like this is an anti-racist yeah. work, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And and I think what she articulated really well, and I'm really grateful that she did that. Right? Was the moment that she sort of her racial puberty, and she's like, wait a second, mm-hmm. I am unknowingly, right? I am unknowingly been a victim of all of all the racism that has that I've been swimming in my entire life. Right? And I'm not and I I realized that and so I'm gonna now opt out of it. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that this work helped I, I, I remember she was talking about, you know, in some ways it's it helps heal some of the issues yes. that she has had as a child, right? And I could totally see that. And how we are a part of the world. We are amazing contributors to this world, and we deserve to be to tell our own stories and to tell other stories too. Yeah. We have voices. We have agency, mm-hmm. um, and we need to use it. And I think it's beautiful to have an example like this to not only demonstrate it, mm-hmm. but then to uh, teach it more implicitly to, to young people mm-hmm. and then of course you can have you can have an uh, explicit conversation too mm-hmm. but implicitly like you are here I see you we're important mm-hmm. we have a history we have culture we have value um, continuously and then I think you know like in book one um, you know, like Jenny Fallon, that was his summer read. So, you know, tons of folks are reading this yeah. book. It's a switch in consciousness because we haven't seen Africans and people of color in this type. It's a switch of consciousness. And then it's like um, um, in the book one, if you cry for anybody in this book, did you cry for Tamar Rice? You know, she's yeah. the Black Lives Matter yeah. thing in the end. Exactly. I mean, to me, that's like I got y'all in. Now, y'all was sympathetic towards my people. What about? Michael Brown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To me, that's like. Yeah. That's really like that's a. Early revolution. That's she real revolution. That's a lot of courage. Right yeah. and she's, I think she said yeah. that Michael Brown. I saw her oh, yeah. uh, at another yeah. festival. She said, the, I think yeah. Michael Brown, one of somebody. She said she was in the bed, literally depressed, couldn't yep. get out. Mm-hmm. The book got up. Mm-hmm. Yep. To yeah. write. Yep. So yeah. think about that. Is love in the end. You know, it, it, if it's a number one bestseller, it ain't just us. That's right. We don't really care about white folks. Say what I'm saying. But we know it ain't just us reading. But it's at the point when I get you to the end. Don't forget about Mike Bryant. Right. Yeah. Don't forget this, about this, this is about. This is about, right. right. And she, and unapologetic. Yep. Yeah. This yeah. is what this is about. So if you got all the way to the end and you read this, don't forget about yeah. Mike Brown. Good for you. Don't. Yeah. I mean, that's, that takes a lot of courage. And I was thinking when she wrote this, 22 years old. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of courage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the end, I want y'all to read it. But at the same time, I'm going to stick true to me. And don't forget about black lives. <laughs> and that's a good point too, right? Because I was realized that I was thinking about it more from a from a us perspective, more from a black and brown perspective, mm-hmm. right? But remembering that this may be the first time some little white kid has ever thought about or even imagined a black woman or a black teenager 
like in their lives, mm -hmm. right? That there can be a, so basically like the, the exact opposite of her experience. All she was thinking about was white kids or white characters because that's all she's seen. Yeah. And now it's saying, okay, there are black people, there are black characters, and we are at the center of our stories, and you need to pay attention to those stories. Yeah, yeah. and it goes back to what you were saying earlier about like when people, they don't hit them personally, then they're not thinking about it. But mm -hmm. think about it, this is changing consciousness at a young age. Like I was on the plane, this little kid mm -hmm. next to me, like a little white boy sits with Black Panther. Mm -hmm. His mom mm -hmm. was like, he love these ladies. That's what his mom was saying. <laughs> 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 she was like, he like six. I mean, he is just in love with these ladies. But that's a switch in consciousness. I'm sure she telling me that. On but the I, inside, wanted to she's like, mm -hmm. I wanted to and get personal. I wanted to get personal and systemic. But that's right? but that's the thing is, but I want to you. Remember, he's young. You right. don't know how this is going to play out for right. a young person right. seeing this at five it's, it's a good stuff. It's a good stuff. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of going in a different direction. I'm thinking about the love triangle right now. Mm -hmm. Which one? Um, so I'm thinking about <laughs> Zaylee, Rowan, Rowan, and Inan. Yes. So I'm wondering... Oh. Um, that was a good love. Because there's like a... There's a message there, I think, and, yeah. and maybe what this is going to get me in trouble. Maybe mm -hmm. this is going to get me in trouble, but like, okay. so <laughs> Inan is this black man, this beautiful black man who has hurt her and crushed her, but now she finds oh. safety and security mm. in the oh. arms of this well, not, not a, not black a, man. Not, not a and this no, right, no, well, I mean, like, you know, so he's he's brown, or so he's something yeah. other, you know, yeah. he's not white. He's so white. Like, He's not white. Let's, you know. I think he's Asian. So he's, he's probably yeah. right. So like he's either Asian. <laughs> he's like Western. <laughs> he's Western <laughs> Asian or something. Sorry, man. Okay. No, 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 Inan, no, no, Inan is a black. Are, Inan is, is clearly black. You know, definitely black. But like he has hurt her. He has betrayed her over and over and over again. And when you think about like the relationship between black women and black men, and then there's this whole like thing in the media, like sisters need to date out. Mm. We need to do that. We need to. We can't. Obviously, we can't find love here. So we gotta branch out a little because there's not enough black men or something like that. Or these black men, they just keep hurting. Da 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 da. Mm. And so Zaylee, now the only time she feels like this this brown man, this brown man who probably has long hair and all of that stuff. <laughs> it's like right here. She's home. <laughs> you know, oh, got oh, Rowan, also, Rowan also is the one that's coming for Zaylee. It's never. And he's and he's also wild. Yeah, yeah, no. What do no, you no, mean no. by wild? I mean, I'm he's right. He's definitely, he's definitely, like, he's definitely coming for her. He's definitely coming for her. But I'm talking about like, so now she's like, I can't let him. You know, she's like, I can't let him go. He's home to me now. And da 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 da. da. But the flip side of that though is yeah. Amari and Zayn. Zayn's a black yeah. man. Amari's a black woman. Right, but Zayn turned his back on her. What, what, just the five, just the five, like just the five we so, just the five we so. That's what I mean. I think she, like she did hinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, I don't, so again, it's I don't about know. white. It's about the relationship between it's black men, men and black women. It's yeah. like right. So yeah. like, so she hurt him, and so like, there's the fracture. But I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. There's all, but wrong. So I, I just thought he was black. He's not black. No, I thought he was like hurt by Eric. He's like Eric. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, 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 oh, okay. I thought he was from the North. I thought he was from the North. I was like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's from a He's black in the constitution. That's what I was thinking. So he would be like. And I placed him amongst. Our people's I, pay, like, oh, I pay them as like yeah. South, like so, um, South or Western Asian. So, so like from okay. the stands and oh stuff. God, but yeah. I think, I think, yeah, yeah. She yeah. She I think it's color. Right. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just curious just, about that. Yeah. I don't know what. I, I, I'm, I'm curious, curious about their relationship too. Yeah. But I think I. Rowan, I love Rowan. I know, I love Rowan right. too. Because, but I think I love him because to me he represents so many black boys who are traumatized and have, have this hard shell, but underneath all of that they are just soft. And if you are lucky enough to get to that part, it's like, oh. So he reminded me of so many people that I knew. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my friends, I miss y'all. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why like, I just, I want them to work out so but but why, but I, also like the same thing, thing but I can go in another direction, but right? I, I can go in another oh, direction, because like Saran, the woman that, <laughs> The, the black woman that he stuck a sword through, right? Yeah. His black wife who he cheated on, right? Who is that? Um, yeah, is Saran that, is yeah. the king, yeah. right? Oh, Saran. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Saran, is, Saran is the name of the king. And so, and then like Inan, you know, <coughs> like he ends up killing uh, Saran's uh, side piece. Side yeah. piece, yeah. Right? So like, yeah. <laughs> oh, by accident. I feel like we're criminalizing Inan because he's a black man. Oh. Because here we are talking about Rowan. Rowan is a mercenary. Right. Like, he's, he's a killer. 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 He's
to guard out of his own right. So black men that also might be no. So I don't. Who do that? Who did that? I don't know. I just I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, he is my hometown moment. He took it off. Oh, he is. Like he's great. He's on stage. He's a straight monster. I just we know. He's a cold killer. He's a cold killer. We know this. It's okay. But it's not okay. No, no, but it's okay. But I realize, I realize, I I relate to Rowan more as a device than I do a character. Mm. Meaning, like I think of him as. Number one, Zelly's a teenager. She needs to have like she needs to be dating. Right? She needs to be dating more more than one person. She needs to be getting to know herself and getting to know other people. Mm. And for me, I also that's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. And then, and then the other thing was, I mean, like this, she has been through so much. Can she just have somebody to make her smile? He did. Like, he can she just her. have somebody she can go for a walk with and be like, man, you cute. I hope he kisses me. Like, right. I want, I want, at some point, I want her to just be a, have a have a space to just be a teenager. Like, like for me, he I took on the ground and for, water. Yeah, and I feel like she know he bad. Like she's not like crazy. She, yeah. Like, oh, Rowan. Like no, she you knows know who he is. is. Yeah. Like she know who Rowan he, is. He know who he is. She if, know who he is. If anything, <laughs> if anything, if there is a message, it's like men are like trash. Like, <laughs> like, she doesn't have any viable options. Like uh, the, the, the black man really broke her heart. Himself. The right. one, the one non-black dude is a mercenary. Right, right, but he treats sure. her good. I'm sorry, yeah. go ahead, say, 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 that's that's saying something too, because he's he's kind of an escape, mm-hmm. because he's not tied to either the the he's a, the right. Tetons yeah. or the because he's a mercenary. I'm a so I can he's just I can escape from my blackness, or I can escape from the harshness of being in this battle, internal battle, and go with somebody who is outside of that. There you go. And no. And I, I, I like that. I hadn't thought about that, I, I, but I really like that because to me, it's not necessarily about um, his his race at that point. Because you know, there's things that we do every day that takes us outside of our stress. So yeah. you know, you ride a bike, read comics, read books, listen to music, whatever it is. You have to have some type of escape, yeah. right? That kind of allows you to breathe and hopefully just be you yeah. and enjoy the moment that you're in yeah. outside of all the issues that you're that you're dealing with. So I, I, I like that idea and because I think, and it's yeah. And the other thing I personally feel like is that Rowan is not lying about who he is. He Ro- Rowan is not having no identity crisis. Nope. Exactly. Rowan ain't nope. worried about uh, daddy. He, he, Rowan ain't he knows exactly who he is. Like, Rowan, like, like I'm a you bad know, dude. I'm like, with my mom. Yeah, I'm like, with my mom. Rowan, with my money. I don't care. When I come back here, like, Rowan. Like, you gonna pay for that. I'm on my money. Exactly. Like, so, <laughs> Wait, can, I, can I ask a question about Rowan? There's this one scene where Enon sees Rowan and his uh, teammate talking to the queen. Mm-hmm. Where? Yeah. Yeah. He's a nut. Yeah. But the why? Oh, uh, there was a I point. There was that. a scene where um, Rowan was in the dungeons talking to the queen and Enon. Oh, was uh, that Eve dropped. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that was Rowan. It was. I don't, yeah. I don't think that was Rowan. I thought it was. No, 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 no,
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but still cold blooded, still cold blooded, and puts that jaw back on his neck. That was yeah. the coldest moment. Sorry, I had to keep it. That was like, oh. Why did we get that part? What place is that on? So, so we, we have to get ready to wrap up. Um, we're, we're, we're reaching out a little bit. So this has been um, uh, a really good conversation. I think. I don't know if, if we have the same type of, like, I've tried to do the same kind of end of uh, discussion question about uh, separating out the author um, or the, the way the book is executed from the actual story. Because yeah. there's been some books that we've read we were like, ah, I like it, but I have a problem with the author, I have a problem with the way it was executed. This book, I feel like, overall, is just from, like, beginning to end, we didn't have a problem with jumping from person to person, mm -hmm. the chapters being short, yeah. like we were just kind of like bought in, bought into it. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think, I did. and I was surprised when I saw you nine because I was like, oh, I thought he was dead. Yeah, I think, I so, when, so when he first yeah. when he came yeah. back, I was like, oh, he's still sitting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Like, the yeah. White light on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm almost. Okay. Like, I was <laughs> rushing to get to the end, and then you're on a boat. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. That's the only thing. I, I saw just, that. Well, you, you knew it had to be. So I, I didn't see it coming, but I was. That's how it ends. I wasn't sure. Okay, so we we going back into it. Who was on the boat? So oh. it's, it's yeah. Okay. It's how they got captured at the end because you have to go to book three. So okay. she had to. So you know, it's a trilogy. So we know going into it that it's a trilogy. So this is the bridge book, right? Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of action, a lot of stuff happening. Because it's the bridge book, and then she had to have some kind of way to get you to book mm -hmm. three mm -hmm. for them to overcome, mm -hmm. you know, whatever they have to overcome for them to actually win at the end. Mm -hmm. I, I so think I think like you kind of had to, oh, you, had, you had to have that. Colonize so, who? What about if it was Rowan's people? So what? I, I think so. So but okay. I don't know. So <laughs> I, 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 I agree with that. Yeah, we but I do have. Already, so, is Rowan is not white, right? No. No. Okay, good. No. I mean, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Rowan, some of us is Asian. As Rowan is East African, Middle Eastern. He's not black. He's not black. He's definitely not black. He's definitely not black. So, so. At um, so at the end of the day, we all love the book. Yeah. We're excited yeah. for for book uh, three to come out. We need to hurry up. Tomorrow. We're going to put together a <laughs> petition <laughs> for some short story <laughs> backstories, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and the number of petition is we're not going to kill Zelly. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Can you add to that? I'm not sorry. You guys, what do you want to add to the petition for not killing Zelly? I feel like as like a minority. In so many ways, whenever there's a representation of any little sliver of my minorityness, I really don't want that character to die because it's a trope. I don't have them to spare. So you know that? what I mean? Like Zelly, right. she's a protagonist. She's right. a she's yeah. We don't have her to spare. Right. She, yes. We don't have it to spare. So, right. so we cannot yeah. sacrifice her. Yeah. 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 So, you you got to be the majority in this country. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I am. But I mean, but I guess I should say, my, my my in terms only, of representation. So, I hear you. Yes. So, so this was the last book for 2019. Uh, again, I want to thank everyone for coming out, participating with us. This was incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one thing uh, we have to figure out how to do is we want to figure out how we can do a vote on our best book we read for 2019. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Like most most impactful. I think, mm -hmm. and I want to have that as like a mahogany books like Grace of Our Brothers. This is 2019. This was the book. And we kind of have that. So we have to figure out how to make that happen. Already um, for... <laughs> For our first official book we're gonna read in 2020, mm -hmm. um, and I keep saying this young lady's name wrong. What is um, it? It is Ikpi Basie, I believe is uh, her name. I-K-P-I Basie, B-A-S-S-E-Y. Um, the name of the book is I'm Telling You the Truth But I'm Lying. Oh yeah. Uh, right, and this book is, uh, so this book was picked, uh, it's a it's a book it's a biography of memoirs it's a me memoir and essays is what I'm trying to say um, and uh, the big thing about this book is it deals with mental health um, mm -hmm. specifically you know uh, black people so it's going to be I think it's going to be um, this may be a little bit heavier we wanted to end 2019 with a light-hearted book yeah. 
and then we know going into 2020 um, is going to be heavy. Uh, we wanted to pick up a, a heavier book of substance to start start the new year, but something that had um, some real good implications as we you know look into 2020 and what we can address personally for the community yeah. or whatever, and have, have a real good conversation on that. So that um, that's our December book. I'm lying. I'm I'm telling you the truth, but I'm lying. By it be best, basically, we'll have the books in store next week. Um, it's available in paperback, so it's a really good uh, book to pick up. You gonna have it next week? Yep, we'll have okay. it next week. Um, and that book discussion is going to be on February seventh. Um, back oh, here Black at Love Day. Mahogany Book. I thought it was the other day. What's me about Black Love? Well, well, it's a third time. Okay. Um, so uh, February seventh, back here at the bookstore, mm -hmm. um, six o'clock to okay. eight p.m. So again, I've this has been an incredible conversation. Um, I've again really, really enjoyed this. Again, a big shout out to uh, Panama and very smart brothers for uh, doing this book club with us. You know, Panama wasn't feeling well today. Hopefully, he was watching, and uh, we get a chance to argue about this book later. Um, but you know, Hi, Panama. he'll be here with us <laughs> in uh, February to discuss that book, and that was a book that he was really interested in having a conversation about. So. I uh, definitely encourage everyone to get a chance to uh, write, read that book. And yes, it'll be a little bit heavier, but I think it'll be, um, hopefully get some really good uh, stuff from it. So thank you, everyone. We appreciate it. Uh, everyone online, uh, thanks for, for contributing. Thank you. Appreciate it.